But like, if if that guy didn't knock me down on that, like unexpectedly, I would have I would have like Hulk smashed him to that's, fucking pieces. That's right? what I didn't yeah. get. I'm like, why would you pick a big person? Because if you fail, yeah, the easy then you target. Lose. You're then you're really yeah. fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if that like it was like a dink, and then it was like, <laughs> yeah, you know, just like, like what was that? <laughs> that <laughs> like ah, that, 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 that tickled. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to Waiting to Dry, Episode 5. I'm Sergio Lopez. I'm Josh Lawyer. And hey. I'm Nate Van Dyke. Boom. Uh, <laughs> <off> the mic. <laughs> <laughs> We're at Nate's studio, actually, and it's pretty awesome. It's very uh, rough around the edges, but it's really cool in that way. Yeah, so. I tried to decorate it well. I, I mean, I'm kind of offended. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going with a mid-century modern look. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I want something that looked like they recreate it when I'm dead. They're like, this is exactly what it looked like. <laughs> yeah, it's you have like dripping with character. <laughs> all the tourists like walking through and taking pictures. Oh yeah, with the velvet rope. Like, don't yeah. get too close. And like your seat at your drafting table is like six feet high. Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> look at my my drafting table has little potter plants on it so it, it's actually tall <laughs> enough like, be like this is authentic that's hilarious I yeah didn't see that. but the myth will even grow so, <laughs> yeah. so the 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 table will be like 10 feet tall oh yeah no, it's like making andre the giant larger than he was <laughs> yeah yeah uh but yeah welcome to the fucking podcast thanks for having <laughs> yeah. me it's it's kind of uh uh, I haven't done one of these for a while. I'm a little, little nervous, but excited. <laughs> yeah. Nate Van Dyke, he's uh Were you always San Francisco? Uh, I was born and raised in Marin. Uh-huh. Okay. So and yeah, not, I saw not, you drew on your high school diploma there. Oh yeah, <laughs> well Sir I mean Francis it's like Drake. yeah, it's like when no one ever says like you know you're you're doing like an art job and they're like well we need to see uh, some credentials <laughs> so you just like pull out your like high school diploma like right. like you can't really do that so I was like <laughs> yeah. fuck it why don't I draw on this and I I thought about it I was like oh, I'm gonna be all cool and make it like 20 year to the day uh-huh. and uh, so I I came up with that like a a year before and it's like one of those things where you have to like hold off on it because mm. you're like okay in a year this is gonna be so fucking cool right and then you sit there like. That didn't get as many likes as I had hoped. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's like having a conversation in your head. Well, and then I was like, I, someone was interested in buying it. And it's like, it's kind of this weird thing where it's like, as an artist, you want to like make money and you also want to do something different. Because right. it's like, if I had just drawn on like a piece of paper, it'd be like, mm-hmm. oh, that's kind of whatever cool. But it's like, yeah. I'm, I've never seen anyone draw on their diploma. I'm going to do right. that. Right. And then it's also kind of this weird thing of like, I'm selling this like it's almost like giving out your DNA. It's like this yeah. new document, you know, like yeah, but yeah, that's true. You give a little bit of yourself in each painting, but not that fucking much. But yeah, right. D- yeah. DM me if you're interested because I still have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's hilarious. <clears throat> uh, was was the actual work good? Because I remember I drew on like my yearbook and now i look at it and i'm like because uh, it was like right when i graduated so, so like, but oh, you drew man, on it was, only a few bad. years ago right or I, I did it uh let's see my 20 year reunion was just recently and i definitely didn't go to that but i was like <laughs> you know i was like oh, why do i want to see some of these people that i haven't seen in years like right hey yeah. what have you been up to like are you still drawing it's like <laughs> oh, bitch, you know yeah they'll bring the drawing that you gave them for free in high school they're like i still get them. oh no i still get people that do that they're like me too oh, i still have this drawing you did in high school like oh, in, wow. in in math class <clears throat> but yeah so nate yeah. uh he's uh, i don't know if anyone's ever met nate but he's uh eight foot eleven <laughs> Yep. Um, the the myth starts today. Oh my god! He actually had to cut a hole in the top of his car so he could fit in. Yeah, it was, yeah. They put me together here, and his <laughs> car is one of those double decker buses <laughs> from England. <laughs> I used to. I remember in high school, um, I had a a Honda Accord because I stopped growing when I was like fifteen or something. <laughs> I, I had this Honda Accord, and I couldn't sit up straight in it, so I was like, okay, I'll lean the seat back until I can like you know kind of relax and i looked like now which is like that gangster role where right. you're all laid back <laughs> but i was like laid back and i was like oh shit there's the back window and so i roll it down and i would just roll around <laughs> with my arm out the back window yeah. you know? i had a buddy that did the same exact thing he was six seven or something. how tall are you uh six nine it, oh, oh, shit. yeah he did the same thing it's a tiny honda car he would lean it back like it was a recliner oh it was a three-person when i was in it yeah yeah and you it was your car so you were always in it 
Yeah, it's you know the weird thing is like when you're if you've ever been a passenger in the back seat of your car, it's a really fucking weird feeling. <laughs> yeah, know? it is. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> I think you can hear the height in his voice. Cause it'd be weird if you had like some super high pitch voice. <laughs> I know Mike Tyson. <laughs> yeah. Voice. yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I was, I was like those 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 things you worry about. It's like you know, like you're a big guy. You're like okay, like you know, I want to you know you, you you play the part in a way. You know, not play the part, but naturally you are the part. Yeah, right. But it, it's kind of like I remember when I was uh, graduating high school. I was like, oh, please don't let me be that guy. That's like. You know, like dazed and confused, like Matthew McConaughey, like hanging out with the high school kids when you're like 24 or something. Yeah. I was like, there's certain things you're scared of, and you're like, oh, thank God I'm not that guy. Thank yeah. God I don't have a Mike Tyson voice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Did uh, you slouch a lot as a kid? I know a lot of tall people kind of tend to do that to kind of like be on other people's levels. I, 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 I didn't really slouch too much. It's, it's like I never made a point of trying to like stand up straight or sit up straight, but it's mm. like. I was I was never really good at that. Like, pretend you have a stick up your ass and like you know <laughs> right. sit up straight. It's like I think naturally you slouch a bit. Like I I'll, I'll go through you know I've I've got millions of like scar tissue and stuff on my head from hitting doorways and whatnot. <laughs> so it's like I'll go through a doorway that's like eight feet clearly like enough space to get through, and I'll duck. And it's like I still duck. It's just it's like blinking. You don't think right. about it. Yeah. But luckily, I didn't slouch too much. Like when I see a tall person slouch, I'm like, oh, that's pitiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They probably just didn't get enough calcium as a kid. But thanks for uh, making them feel better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, we should probably talk about your art a little bit. Oh, I guess we should do that. <laughs> so you you probably have a background. I would say mainly in comic books, right? Yeah, I, I grew up. Uh, on com- in comic books, like I wanted, all I wanted to do when I was younger was like draw comic books, mm-hmm. and uh, it's like if it wasn't, it's like oh here's this amazing Van Gogh. I was like that's not Spider Man. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. So like you know when you're a kid you know it all. It's all about you know what you do and what you want to do. Right. And it's all about comic books, and I I've worked in comic books a little bit here and there. You know I kind of do it back and forth. But like the cool thing about comic books is like I was telling a buddy yesterday is like you actually by doing comic books you learn to draw everything oh, right. you know sure. you draw like a payphone some of you kids might not know what those are <laughs> but you draw everything like a car or whatever it may be so the like with comic books it's like you learn to draw everything and all i ever wanted to do was comic books and you know i still do some some books here and there uh i actually believe that comic book work is the hardest work because you have to do it quickly you can't be you know be all emo and like oh i don't feel <laughs> connected today like <laughs> right. you're like oh fuck i gotta do this yeah and you gotta draw everything and it's like you gotta crank it out and then wake up the next day and do it again so i definitely learned a lot with that but then what's funny is like you start getting freelance work and i start getting like magazine work and commissions mm-hmm. and it's like oh okay well oh, yeah I, I i guess i could draw that and then before you know it you're doing like art shows and magazine stuff or whatever skateboards whatever it is and it's like oh i guess i'm a freelance artist yeah your yeah. art is kind of this like weird thing where you're like a man of all trades like you're you're doing like fine art and you're doing comic books and you're doing this and that and it's like yeah you have to switch it up a lot i think also just kind of keeping it interesting you know because it's like if you i don't care what it is it's like if you draw the same thing every day like you know you're gonna you're gonna burn out yeah. you know so it's it's a uh, it's I, I like switching it up. I like changing the mediums. I like just kind of, you know, doing something different, like taking a couple risks. It's like that's how you find out new stuff. But, uh, I mean, I still, like, enjoy, like, going back to comic books. But it's like I think it's more fun just going big and crazy and, like, creating your own image rather than, like, Spider-Man, like, you know, swinging through yeah. buildings. It's like, oh, no one's done that before. Really? <laughs> <I'm just like, laughs> Damn it. I haven't uh, seen it. Uh, yeah, that's cool. And... <clears throat> I always have this like respect for comic book artists because they seem like during a time where people were fucking trying to splash paint on canvases, there was a few like art forms that were still like had this traditional training, kind of like we need to make sure it looks like a person and not, yeah. you know. And a lot of the comic book artists are talented because of that. And, oh yeah, <clears throat> you know. I mean, there's, I mean, it's. I think for me with comic books is one of the things that. I started to lose interest. Like I've, I, I prefer to do a lot of times my own comic books, like non superhero stuff. But like the idea of, 
I remember seeing this comic and I was reading it and it was like in this like lobby foyer or whatever and uh you know Captain America Iron Man they're all like standing around talking to each other and I'm like this just looks like kids like like Halloween like waiting for their parents to pick them up or something like right. it was just like just seeing them all stand around talking to each other with their masks on and stuff, I was like, this, ah. I love, I love, you know, Batman, Spider Man, stuff like that, Wolverine, but it's just like, ah. Uh. So I, right. when I do comics, I prefer to like just kind of somewhat do my own thing, you know? Yeah, mm. you definitely got like a darker feel to your stuff than most comic books. Mm. Maybe like Frank Miller or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, like I'd, I'd much <laughs> rather go that. I think it's actually more honest and like, like when I've done my Dutch stories for heavy metal, mm-hmm. um, mm. It would, it would just be like daily things like you know he he didn't want you know mayo on his hamburger and he ended up losing his shit because they didn't put mayo on it you know, it's like something so, you deal with all the yeah. time so dutch is i don't know if anyone know if people don't know but dutch is this like primate character who's like kind of like uh planet of the apes with die hard kind of i would say <laughs> like those two mixed together he, I, i've always i've <laughs> always done the like he's got a his character is kind of like a mix of like Wolverine and the Incredible Hulk. Uh-huh. Like he's kind of, uh-huh. he just kind of wants to be like left alone. Right. <laughs> and I've always said that he doesn't like my summary of him is like, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't throw rocks. He returns them. You know, it's, <laughs> like, it's like, I'm, like I'm, I'm cool. I'm going to do my thing. It's like, you know, you fuck with me. I'm going to fuck mm-hmm. right back, you know? Right. Yeah. That's cool. And when did you start paying that guy? Oh man. I, st- I, Started drawing that, or- yeah i started that guy i remember my um i remember the first story i did i, I was he was a character of mine that i'd been kind of playing around with like my god like 20 years ago kind of hmm. just kind of like sculpting him i just thought like chimps are cool because they're you know 98 percent our dna or whatever yeah. so it's like mm-hmm. kind of human and you can draw like a, a chimp with a chainsaw hacking people up mm-hmm. and it's cool but if you do like a human doing it, you're going to be on like some FBI list, right? You know, right? So you can get away <laughs> with a lot of shit like that. And uh, I remember years ago, I was hanging out with uh, with Dave Cho, and mm-hmm. he was talking about doing a comic book, and he wanted to do this black and white comic book with, you know, everyone's does like a short story or something, and uh, he was going to call it Donkey Punch. <laughs> And I was like, well, donkey punch? I was like, I don't want to punch a donkey. And then I looked it up, and I was like, oh, shit. Okay, donkey punch. Yeah. I, 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 okay. okay, that changes the vibe. Uh, yeah. And yeah. So Google I, it, kids. Yeah. yeah. Or don't. Or don't. <laughs> and so I was like, all right, cool. So I did this short story with this little character, and I, I did, uh, it was like eight pages or ten pages or something. And um, he ended up, this is before, you know, Facebook money, Facebook and all that. And before, you know, he became like, you know, who he, how people know him now, but Mm -hmm. I, you know, knew him when, you know, he was just kind of like doing his thing like the rest of us. Mm -hmm. Right. And, uh, he ended up not putting the comic book together. So I was like, all right, well, fuck this. And I ended up submitting it to uh, heavy metal magazine and they're like, all right, cool. And, uh, so I just kind of went with that and, you know, I've done a number of stories uh, with, with him for, with, through heavy metal. I mean, I love heavy metal. Um, but I, uh, heavy metal magazine, music, whatever, steel, you name it. Um, but I want to do, uh, I, I want to do like a new story. I've got a bunch of ideas and so hopefully I'm going to start hacking away on a new one. Nice. That's cool. Nice. Uh, and maybe Dutch can do like a little fucking, uh, what are they called when you charity work? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's turned a new leaf. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, cool. Well, I hope I have to like file for unemployment for sure. Right? I know. Well, the the thing is, is like like I was saying, like I feel like comic book work is really some of the hardest work because it's yeah. like you got to crank it out, you got to keep doing it. Um, you know, you you got to you can't just be sitting around like oh I need to Google everything and piece it together through Google Images. You know, you mm. like you have to pull from your head. You got to do it quickly. Yeah, and sometimes you know the the for the amount of work the pay sometimes isn't equivalent to the amount of work i mean it's like sometimes you could do like you you know do all this comic book work you make a little bit of money and then you could do like one piece one painting and sell it and get the same amount of money right you yeah. know? 
That would that would be nice if that happened more often. Yeah. <laughs> is, is this where we do like our Instagram plugs, and, yeah, like, yeah. Like, art sale pages, yeah. <laughs> or we just like yell at art buyers like buy more? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so the Labor Day sale, like, <laughs> like you know. yeah, 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 nice. <clears throat> so what got you into? I mean, you kind of explained this uh, as far as like showing with galleries. You kind of started getting commissions and stuff. Yeah, I started, uh, so brief history is, uh, when I was in high school, I, I looked at, I was like, okay, the natural thing is to go towards, uh, like, okay, I'll go towards art school. Cause yeah. I realized my hopes and dreams of being a professional baseball player were really not that, mm. you mm. know, that you likely. St- I feel like you still got a chance. Oh, dude. I mean, I, I want, you know, like, the, you know, the, the guy that's like comes out of nowhere and just starts like playing and then <laughs> yeah. he's, you know, 49 year old pitcher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that movie, uh, there's a movie called, uh, some shit. Some uh, shit. Oh, yeah. I fucking love that. <laughs> Starring Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, I, I, uh, so when I was in high school, I, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll look at art colleges because I feel like that's what you're supposed to do. You're right, supposed yeah. to like continue your education and all that crap. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so I was looked at a bunch of art colleges and I got, uh, scholarship offers and I was looking at these colleges, like good colleges. And, um, I just looked at it. I was like, no, cause I didn't want to turn into, you know, people that get like a boner for their teacher and then all of a sudden they're like drawing like their teacher or it's just, it, I think art is pretty organic and I kind of wanted to keep that approach. Cause like, you Earth know, break. <laughs> 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 there's no video going this <laughs> you <Yeah>. outed me. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're drinking beers by the way. So every once in a while, if you catch a little silence yeah, uh, or if you hear a crack, it's, it's okay. <laughs> um, yeah. But no, I, I got these scholarships and I looked into it and I was like, okay, like, I feel like you're supposed to go to art school because that's what you feel like you're supposed to do. Like, oh, this is what you do. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'll pass on all these scholarships and I ended up doing construction for two years. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, no, I'm just going to do some like, you know, hard labor, like, yeah. you know, like breaking rocks in a prison kind of style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chain ganging it. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, um, and then I did construction for a couple of years and then I got, uh, hired by a company. This is way back. This is the original dot com. This is like 99 or something like don't that. Don't date right. yourself. This is 2015. I know. Kids, <laughs> there's people that weren't even born yet. You know, this, <laughs> yeah. is, this is pre nine 11. This is way back. Yeah. And <clears throat> I ended up, um, doing construction for a couple of years and then I got hired by a dot com company to do some, uh, it was called learn com, and I would do instructional illustrations and it would be like, okay, learn to carve a Turkey, learn to change a car tire or something like that. So I would do all these drawings. And then what I realized is like they paid, you know, really well per illustration. And I was like, they're like, okay, so here's this office in Sausalito and here's your desk. And I was like, I'm not going to work here. (laughs) And, but no, I I was like, accepted the job, but they are like, I was like, Oh, I want to work from home. And they're like, okay, well, everyone, uh, that works for us actually works here. I was like, yeah, no, I want to work from home. (laughs) And the reason why is because I knew how quickly I could do these little illustrations. And I was like, I didn't want them to be like, uh, so it's like lunch and you're like, okay, I'm done. Like I just made like $700. Like I'm a, you know, bounce or whatever. Yeah. So what I would do is I'd go there to Sausalito and I'd, I'd get the assignment or whatever. And I'd go home and I would like finish all these illustrations like in the afternoon or the following morning. And then I would like wait like four days to go in because I didn't, because <laughs> yeah. I didn't want it to look right. like too quick. Yeah. So yeah. I just wait. And then I, so then after that dot bombed, um, I was like, you know, fuck it. I'm going to go to, uh, LA, move to LA. Cause I got an offer to work at top cow image comics, oh, okay. comic yeah. book studio. I was like, Oh my God, dream come true. And so I, I went there and like the reality of it kind of set in real quick. It's like, okay, this is just, yeah, it feels like some chain gang kind of thing. Right. Mm. And it was just, it was also like, I mean, I learned a lot. I met a lot of really cool people through top cow and, through working in comic books, but it's just kind of, you know, I hated LA. Sorry for all those people in LA, but, um, <laughs> and I just kind of came back. I was like, all right, I can't do this anymore. And I came back, uh, to the Bay area 
and this is the second episode in a row where someone was like, "I fucking hated LA." <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate it. I know, right? I fucking I don't know. I I go there for like I just went there recently for you know unfortunate circumstances for went for a memorial, but it was like I couldn't. There's a part of me that just can't like itching to get out of there. Yeah. you know. Yeah, the LA is like they have they have these great beaches, and I love going to the ocean, but. I hate it that much that I would never move there. Oh no! Oh, I mean, yeah. you could. I can't. You could offer me plenty of money, and I'd be like, "No, nah, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna like starve it up here in SF." Yeah. So I ended up coming back, and then I uh, uh, went to Marin for a little bit, lived up there for a little while, and then uh, had a art show. And I had this art show in the city, and it was at Upper Playground in the Lower Hate. And I was, it was a three man show. It was a Ian Johnson and uh, Justin Kaufman Coro. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it was the three of us, and we did this show. And Coro and I just really hit it off. And like, he's still a really good friend of mine. And he said, like, Hey, I work at this video game company in Sausalito. Uh, they would love to bring you in. I, I'm sure I could get you a job. And I was like, Video games? Because, like, I mean, my. The extent of my, like, knowledge at the time was, like, Super Mario Brothers and, like, Double Dragon. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, it was, like, doing... So, super deep. You had to just... Yeah. <laughs> I know. I was, like, oh, is it, sl- is it side-scrolling? They're, like, um, <laughs> no. You're, like, you're like I got this. Up, up, down, down, down. Right. <laughs> yeah. I know I, my stuff. I got that contra shit. <laughs> yeah. I, know, I know how to do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah and, don't uh, worry. But uh, he got me in. And that was your resume? It was just like, up, up. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, they used to ask me, like, what's your favorite game? And I'd be like, Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> and at first, they'd look at me like, oh, that's cute. And then it got to a point where it's like, so, like, w- w- what kind? Of, what do you do for fun? You're like, oh, I, I play with the abacus. <laughs> you know, like, you can't really do that shit. So you yeah. have to, like, kind of switch it up. So he ended up, you know, becoming a really good friend. And I got in doing concept art, doing video game stuff. Hmm. And I did that for a while. And uh, how know, long did you do that for? I didn't know you even did that. Yeah, so I, I did that for. Let's see. God, it was like um, when was that? Like after, that was like two thousand two. Mm-hmm. I started, and I worked there for a couple of years. They Sergio had, did the same thing, right? For a little bit. I mean, I didn't work in video games. I kind of did. I I worked at this um, startup company that was doing a like a virtual world, kind of like a Second Life, but like a high res version of it uh, so so like for like losers and stuff <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding I'm the king of but losers seriously. <laughs> present like company second excluded. second <laughs> life yeah. it's like oh for those for that people those kind of people yeah <laughs> oh, so you see so yeah you build a farm like what do you do like, <laughs> <laughs> so when you can't live in the real world i'm just kidding people if you mine was game. cool though <laughs> <laughs> uh but so i ended up i ended up doing that uh for a while and they mm-hmm. they ended up moving their their office, their studio to uh, San Francisco, and uh, it was at first in Folsom. And I was like, okay, now is my chance to move to the city because I always yeah. liked San Francisco. So I moved to the city and I was like, you know, fuck it, I'm going to do it. Hmm. And uh, you know, lived. Was south. this Massive Black? No, it was it was before Massive Black. It was okay. it was Shaba at the time. Okay. And uh, Coro, my buddy, and a bunch of the other guys, they started Massive Black. And so then they kind of branched off and then they were doing, you know, concept work for hires and mm-hmm. all that. But I was at the company, I was with them for a couple of years and, uh, you know, end up long story short, I've worked for uh, a few, uh, video game companies and learned a lot, but I also get to a point where it's like these concept artists now they're like using ZBrush and all this stuff. And I'm yeah. like, I'm in the background, like sharpening a pencil. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's like the caveman versus like. <laughs> yeah, I'm like uh, I'm like scan like scanning stuff, and people have already like finished five pieces. <laughs> yeah, you're like, look, guys, I invented the wheel, and they're like, yeah, we're driving Teslas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was definitely like, I, I kind of got, I got a little, I don't want to say aged out, not <laughs> aged out, but just tech out because yeah. like I. I think kind of like, you know, like you guys and like a lot of guys out there, it's like, I still love, you know, the pencil and paper, the yeah. ink and paper. And like, working with your hands in like a yeah. actual physical world. Yeah, no, yeah. As, as opposed to like, just kind of like, oh, I'm going to do a bunch of Google grabs and fucking adjust the filters. And right. it's like, right. you know, now it's a post-apocalyptic. And meanwhile, I'm like drawing rocks and then inking yeah. them and then coloring <laughs> them. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, fuck. So then now you're in San Francisco. Yeah, I've been. So now I'm in San Francisco. So I've been San Francisco coming up, uh, I believe, oh, shit, 14 years, 15 years, Damn. 15 years, something like that. Nice. And, uh, I mean, I love San Francisco. I've still been able to do it. Um, I think as a lot of artists know and a lot of some people, you know, trying to come up may not know is that there's there's months where you, like, kill it and you make some money and you, like, don't have to actually look at your bank account before you pay rent. Yeah. And then there's months where you're like, that's rad. I made, like, $200. This is going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then you find yourself... I don't want to say. <laughs> I was, was going to go dark. All right. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the inconsis- inconsistencies, I worked that one out. That was the, I, think <laughs> yeah. that's, I think that was going to be the biggest word of this, this <laughs> podcast. Uh, of art and creating art and selling it is one of the shittiest things about oh my being God, an artist. Dude, I, to this day, like, I'm, I'm going to be... I'm 38 for one last day. I'll be 39 tomorrow, but I've Happy been doing... birthday, by the way. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> We're all sitting here naked in our birthday suits, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I have socks on. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. <laughs> but uh, I think that, like, I still, to this day, I hate trying to, like... Because who's to say, like, you know, you go you go to a mechanic and you get an oil change and it's like it says how much on the wall it's right. going to be. It's like... It doesn't matter who does it. it. Doesn't matter like if the guy even is good at his job. But it's like, you know, you're trying to sell artwork to like literally pay rent and eat food and mm-hmm. drink beer and all that fun stuff. <laughs> and it's mostly like, to drink beer. Yeah, mostly. Of course, that's <laughs> where mine goes. But no, it's it's hard. It's like you're constantly trying to make up this like fake living. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and it's it's not like there's no work involved. <laughs> You know, but it doesn't translate like I worked ten hours today. That's a uh, this many hours. Oh no! Oh, hour yeah. per hour. You know? Not at all. Because people are like, uh, like, like hourly. A lot of people do hourly. Mm-hmm. Like this is you know right. they make you know seventy five dollars an hour or whatever. If and, they're balling, yeah. yeah. But no, it's <laughs> like I'll be like I, you know, if I charged some of these pieces hourly, it'd be yeah. like so minimum that, wage. Yeah. It, either yeah, it would be totally like minimum wage. Mm-hmm. Or like if you made like seventy five dollars an hour, it'd be like okay, this this piece is like three thousand five hundred dollars. They're like, no, it's yeah. not. You're like, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's like when I do plein air paintings, like some of them take a couple hours, and it's like, oh, how do you sell that for nine hundred dollars when you only spent two hours on it? Well, it's actually making up for the thirty hours that I didn't make anything off of it. Yeah, or or paintings. even sometimes I I'll like think about the amount of time I spent on a painting. It's like, oh, I spent like three weeks on it. Yeah. <clears throat> and then it's like, oh, you're selling for that much? You're like, fuck, you're making like $3 an hour. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. Like, yeah. And that's not even including like the time it took to, because I build my own frames and I do. Oh, yeah. So it's like, I do all this. So then I'm making nothing. Right. You know what a lot of people don't realize, like, like non artist people don't realize is that, so you go to a gallery and I've told so many people this and it blows their mind, you know, like, it's it's like oh someone just walked on the moon and they're like what the fuck you know it kind of blows their mind like that <laughs> and uh, so it'd be like oh, okay so you've got a a piece a gallery piece and say it's a thousand dollars say you're fortunate enough to actually sell it you know mm-hmm. and what a lot of people don't realize is like gallery gets half yeah for the most part so it's like so there you go you got five hundred dollars you spent like a hundred dollars framing it you so or whatever you you had to ship it right yeah. so by the time you're done you're like so i spent like a week and a half of this and i got three hundred dollars it was yeah. fucking rad yeah, you know? exactly yeah yeah pretty much i mean i know you last time i talked to you, you were saying that you were doing a ton of commissions and you were like because i just need to make money man yeah mm-hmm. well i get i get people that come up to me they're like when's your next solo show i was like do you have any idea? Like they just they think it's like a vending machine. Like you're just like All right, I'm punching this like fucking A three and I get a piece. You know, yeah, like exactly. It's like no, it's like I do commissions because it's like it's you know some commissions are naturally more appealing than others, but right. of course it's work. Mm-hmm. And but for me, it's it goes you know directly to that person. You know, generally you don't have to you know worry about a frame and all that crap. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, you just have to hope it gets to Australia in one piece <laughs> or whatever, wherever yeah. it may be. But yeah. it's a uh, it's a funny story, real quick. My girl, she sent, she sent a commission to Afghanistan. Oh shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, it came back. I think like three years later, <laughs> and the box was like beaten up, and we we're like. That guy's dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, because he's and he spent a good amount of money on the painting. Uh, I mean, if you're out there, I don't know your name. <laughs> Maybe you can hit it back up. But it's been dead silent for three years, so we're assuming you know, good. no good, nothing good happened there. That's crazy. <laughs> but that's one place I've never sent a piece. Uh, but yeah, all my. Uh, faith i had in the afghani postal service is just shot now <laughs> yeah oh i wouldn't even want my fingerprints on that like i'd make up a fake address <laughs> yeah, yeah was, uh, but uh y- y- um so most commissions you get are probably people that know what you do and aren't telling you to paint a unicorn super colorful and- oh dude I've, I've done some i've done some really weird shit like the cool thing about commissions is you're drawing something different of course right. every once in a while someone's like oh i want a fucking wolverine and you're like okay i'll draw wolverine <laughs> but like the cool thing is like when people like i'm working on a commission right now for a guy um and he he's a friend of mine he's a really cool guy and he just He's like, I don't know what I want because a lot of people, some people just don't know what they want. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, give me a few words. Yeah. You know, just give me a few words, just like a starting point, you mm-hmm. know? So he, you know, he wrote down a few words and I was like, okay, so I'm going to, you know, sorry, that was a burp break. Um, <laughs> um, just burp in the mic. <laughs> fuck it. I know. <laughs> um, and, uh, you're going to have to wash this thing when I'm done. <laughs> but, uh, um, so it's like, okay, so I'm creating this piece off of these three words, which is like a great way of doing it because it just kind of becomes more abstract and it yeah. kind of makes it, you know, it's not like, you know, draw, you know, a unicorn or whatever. And uh, it's just, it's fun because it's also one of the fun things about doing uh, like commission work and freelance is like every, like every piece is different. Every piece is like, there's definitely going to be some pieces where it's like, I know with you, like Josh, it's going to be like, Oh, we, you know, I want a pretty lady, you know, and, and you know, you kill that. And it's like, people want what you do, but right. it's also right. fun when people are like, want something completely off. You hmm, know, see, I have issues doing commissions only cause I'm like, I, I don't know. I just have issues. So one of my old high school friends, he just reached out and he was like, yeah, my boss wants a painting. I was like, yeah, I don't really do commissions. But if I do, and I just give him like a, like a really high price, and I'm like, and he can't put it much input in, like he can give me like a loose idea of what he wants, mm-hmm. just because I, I just struggle with anyone else's ideas. I'm like, I don't know. Oh, you know what I call that? I call that a, I call that a fuck you price. <laughs> yeah. I, I call it. It's like it's one thing if they're like, hey, I want this like pretty girl, like I want a redhead, and you're like, okay, cool, I could totally do that. Like speaking of you, Josh, and uh-huh. uh, and then if they're like, so I want like you know. I want my my dog and my you know my grandma you know right. you're just like oh for fuck's sake so it's like yeah. yeah you kind of depending on how your bank account is you're like I'm gonna throw this price that's like <laughs> if I get it all right it's still gonna be painful but yeah. it's like all right it's it's worth it's, it so right. yeah I call it a fuck you price yeah. sorry sorry yeah. I I've never done that for anyone out there just so you know <laughs> and I pretty much do that for every commission piece I get I get even if it's like paint a redhead I'm like. Ugh this much <laughs> or they're like they're like here's my girlfriend you're like oh, i can't make that pretty yeah <laughs> pretty much yeah another uh throwback that. story to my my wife she had to paint this guy's dead girlfriend oh my god and she was like yeah. so like um she had i mean i wasn't even dating her at the time but she tells me she was like it was so much pressure to get it right because like uh she's dead <laughs> well she'll never see it <laughs> yeah yeah she's like this doesn't look like me she like came back from the dead the zombie apocalypse started the day that painting was made <clears throat> yeah. um but- Dude, I, I, oh sorry I, I remember like years ago because you know a lot of times like you know as an artist you draw a bunch of you know you draw stuff that people kind of expect of you like yeah, okay right. that's your stuff and then you end up drawing stuff that's like oh, i'm gonna do this completely random shit and I remember it was coming up, it was the, I don't know if this is a real word, it was like the 50-year death anniversary of Marilyn Monroe. No, that's for sure a real word. Okay. It's, it's, death anniversary? Not... Yeah, yeah, I use that all the time. Okay, <laughs> cool, cool. But I did like this drawing of like, I think I put it in a gallery show, and it was like a drawing of like a famous photo of like Marilyn Monroe when she's like dead in bed. <laughs> oh, and I'm like, 
And then you're like, oh, this is so cool. If I fucking do this dead Marilyn Monroe. And you're like, who wants to draw, who wants to buy that? <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, that happens. I just did a, um, uh, for Wonderland SF, I just painted a record for them and I didn't want to paint a record. So what I ended up doing was I painted Michael Jackson, but not at his prime. And I knew, oh God. I knew going into it, like, this isn't going to sell. No one wants like plastic surgery to Michael Jackson, what, but oh, I, wait, he wasn't like on a stretcher in a bag. Or no, 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 no. It was like him, like right where like he was at his prime plastic surgery. Like, uh, where is your nose? How, what direction is your nose pointing to? And that yeah. kind of stuff. And I knew it wasn't going to sell, but I was just like, at least I'll have fun doing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it, I, I remember. You were I pretty proud of that piece. I was. <laughs> in a way. Because it was so creepy. <laughs> yeah. I don't but really do that. Every once in a while, you got to get like creepy. Like one of the guys yeah. that I think actually does it better than anyone I know is John Wayshack. Like he, oh, yeah. he draws some of the most fucked up shit and oh. it's like, it's awesome. And it's yeah. like, I, if I did like one of those pieces, I'd be like terrified of like, you know, like, you know, people like, Oh fuck that guy's creepy. Like watch <laughs> out. But like he pulls it off and it's amazing. You know? Well, I, I'm bad with names. I don't even know. I'm pretty sure I know his work, but I'm fucking horrible. You, you know his it. work. Yeah, yeah. I know most people's work. I just have to see it. <laughs> Yeah, John Wayshack is actually kind of an influence of mine in an interesting way because um, I went to the Academy of Art in San Francisco and um, about probably two or three years in, he came to do like a little sort of talk to our class because he's um, there. The teacher brought him in because he uh, they wanted to talk about what, people who. What does he paint really quick so I can? He does like it. ink drawings of like a lot of fucked up shit. <laughs> I don't know, it's hard to. I mean, I could I could pull a book out with his stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, he came. All right. So I remember who he is now. <laughs> yeah. So he came to to one of the classes um, because uh, the teacher was a friend of his in school, and so part of the 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 talk that they had a couple people come in, and Wayshack came in to our school and he was just like, nobody's ever gonna ask you for your credentials when you're uh, applying <laughs> for any sort of art job. So and. So, like, don't even worry about, um, um, like, trying to get your diploma and getting all your right. college credits in. Just, like, take all the classes y you want and just do all the cool shit you, uh. you plan on doing anyway, but just do it as best as you can. I yeah. totally agree with that. Yeah. And, and uh, Sergio, and was a one huge of the episodes, on a few <laughs> episodes back, he said he didn't graduate yeah. the Academy. Because it is partly thanks to <laughs> Wayshack because I took those words to heart. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. Well, yeah. That I mean, he was funny. completely right. Yeah, be nobody's funny ever if, asked me for any sort of degree or anything. That would be funny if the first gallery you tried to work with, they were like, yeah, yeah that's cool. Uh, can we see your degree really quick? Well, because I, <laughs> I remember uh, when I, a little while ago, uh, last, uh, okay, let's, not last year, because now we're in 2018, but um, I guess it was, 2000, uh, it was 2016 into 17, I taught at uh, a, a class at CCA, California College of Arts here in San Francisco. And, uh, you know, like I'm teaching a class and like, so it's a narrative illustration and I'm talking to these students. And by the way, I'm teaching at a college that I turned down a degree at. So here I am <laughs> teaching it, which <laughs> makes a lot, you know, says a lot, but it's uh, a yeah. great school, great faculty and everything, great campus. Karen, we love you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, so they that sounds weird because that's my uh, that's my sister in law's name. <laughs> I just do it in name. Like, okay. <laughs> all right. All right well, Shout out to Karen. <laughs> we'll let that Karen one go. Lynn. Yeah. But I remember like the the inaugural like class, like the 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 guy in charge of the illustration department was um, kind of you know softly like getting me into like okay, this is gonna be your teacher. I'm gonna hold your hand for a little while, and then you're you know gonna do this. You're going to do, it's going to be your class. I remember uh, giving them like a, a brief history about about myself. And I was like, so one of the, one of the best things I ever did was not go to art school. And the, the, the main instructor just looked at me like, just like facepalm. <laughs> just like, son of a bitch. <laughs> because I think like with that, it's like, you know, you can definitely learn stuff at art school. You, I mean, yeah. I'm not, uh -huh. I'm, I mean, I wish... In some ways, I would have learned since I self-taught. I mean, I wish I could have learned more, like 
you know, color theory and stuff like that. I mean, mm-hmm. I think there's definitely stuff to learn, but I think mm-hmm. it's also, I think the last thing I heard was like 5% of art school graduates actually wind up being an artist. You know, they probably mm-hmm. wind up being, you know, baristas and stuff like that. Yeah, or heroin sure. addicts. Yeah. <laughs> or dead or in prison. <laughs> dead. So don't go to art school kids. But no, it's like, it's <laughs> like if you can, like, regardless of style, it's like, <clears throat> Obviously, you have to put in the the hours, which I call push ups. It's yeah. like you mm-hmm. you know people are like, oh, I want to fucking go to Venice Beach. Meanwhile, mm-hmm. like they can't do five sit ups. Right. You know, it's like, but it's like with art. I think it's so, you know, everyone's got their own opinion. It's like it's not like necessarily one style is better than the other. But it's like, you know, so I just followed my own path. But I was like telling these kids, like, oh, so glad I didn't do this. Yeah. So anyway, kids, what do you want? To learn? <laughs> well, yeah. with art school, people think that art school will do everything for you. Like if you follow um, the guidelines that they give you and you're a C student or whatever, that that's enough. It's totally not. You have to be at least at a student level effort. And th- even <laughs> that's not enough. That's not a guarantee. Either. By the way, that sounded like the dumb it. I'm, <laughs> I just said not to be, that sounded so bad. The a student level. First of all, kids, quit art school you guys suck if you suck <laughs> yeah. second of all i mean i i mean it's not second of all i'm this is not some list i'm writing at the, i'm just gonna <laughs> say that it just like if i didn't go to art school nate didn't go to art school you went to art school uh-huh. there's no right or wrong fucking way right. but people that are prone to be in a classroom uh-huh. i would say yeah go go get that help but yeah. i know that's not me. So yeah. I would have fucking hated it. Yeah. I just know it. Well, you, you know, the other thing is I was talking to a, a buddy of mine the other day and he's going to art school and he's, he's, you know, picking up some stuff and, you know, he draws a lot. And I was telling him, I was like, you know, if you think about this, it's like, if you go to, uh, art school is actually one of the very few colleges where you have zero guarantee in the real world. Mm-hmm. So you could get, you know, a piece of paper or something like you can, you know, pay your student loans. And that doesn't mean you have a job. Mm-hmm. There's, there's some engineer barista right now offended at your comments. I have an engineer degree. No, working. you know, you know how people, <laughs> you know how people draw all that dumb shit on coffees yeah. and mochas and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are art school students. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, and it's like, oh, that's cute. Let me just mm-hmm. let me just drink this shit real quick and then anyway. crush the cup in front of your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, you spilled my name wrong. <laughs> but it's like if you go to. Uh, if you go to veterinarian school, it's like, all right, we got a job offer in, yeah. you know, whatever town. It's like, you're going to be a veterinarian. You go to art school and they're like, yeah. they think they're going to fucking roll out and start doing like Rolling Stone covers and shit. Yeah. Well, I think one of the big issues with that is that art is so, um, you know, when you when you come out of veterinarian school, you have a skill. <laughs> yeah. Art has somewhere along the way said like, fuck skill. Yeah. Uh, it's all whatever our opinion says. Well, is no, good it's or more bad. you have a demand for it. It's like nobody's like, we need more artists. Give us more artists, right? But not only that, but I think that the artist world kind of f- fuck themselves over by trying to pretend that things that aren't that skillful are genius. That's well, yeah, true, no, it, it's it's, it's kind of like when a you got like a a little kid that smashes a couple keys on a piano, and it's like the parents are applauding them like right. oh my god yeah. my my beautiful butterfly just like yeah. Just yeah fucking prodigy it's like no it's like i mean there's all kinds of different styles of art you know like you got guys that do covers for the new yorker that right you know are very simple but a brilliant idea you know mm-hmm. it's not yeah. technique based or anything it's not like some crazy technique but then uh-huh. you got guys that are like these guys are doing crazy drawings and like clearly you know something something to look at it's like the Mm -hmm. my 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 friend and kind of mentor robert hunt who got me into cca he uh i used to do like guest teaching when he'd go to new york or whatever like he needed someone to fill in so i was teaching a lot of times at cca before i actually actually taught there and had a class and i remember coming into one of his classes and he, he was I brought out some sketchbooks and they're like, you know, looking at my mole skins or whatever. It sounds really dirty. But they're <laughs> like, look, it sounds like some Jeffrey Dahmer shit. But they're looking yeah, at my mole skin. They were skin. looking at your mole skin and looking <laughs> at your mold skin. <laughs> Moldy skin. <laughs> and, and he said, he's like, I, I, I remember this. He said, he's like, you have to create art that like, it's kind of, it's, it's, it says a lot. It's like create art that like someone would not throw away. Hmm. Like if you saw, you know, 
like a lot of us, it's like, it's not going to be like, Oh, here's this like amazing painting and illustration. It's like, Oh, you know, we'll give that to goodwill. It's like right. create something right. that's actually going to be like, people are going to be like, I don't even necessarily like this, but I'm going to fucking keep it. Cause it's bad. Yeah. Ass, yeah. Know? But our, our opinion gets skewed. Cause sometimes I'm like, this painting sucks. And then people yeah. are like, hey, don't, like I'll paint over a painting and they're like, don't do that, please. And you're like, I mean, I hate it. So yeah. sorry. That's the, f- well, I mean, the other thing with the, the art world is I feel like, I feel like it really changed obviously in a lot of ways with Picasso. Mm-hmm. So he created this really different look and all this stuff, you know, something that at the time was just really not happening. And so now the, like the great thing about someone like Picasso is he created like these all these different avenues of art. Yeah. But he also created, everyone's a fucking artist now. Right. You know? Yeah, and it's like, it. you know when you go to the museum and you're looking at some of these like abstract paintings and shit, like, oh, there's a canvas, it's painted blue. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, the fucking, if you get close to it, some security guard is going to tase you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, if you fucking put that on the street corner, people would walk right by it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's it goes back to that like old like your child playing chopsticks or whatever on the piano. Mm. It's like what happens when the adults are playing chopsticks on the piano and someone's saying they're a genius. Yeah. You know, then like are they a genius? And I think it goes back to well, he's a genius if he's a fucking piano genius and he decided that that, that day mm. to like play some version of the chopsticks where it's like off timed and like he knows every little like thing about it. Maybe then it's genius, but by Picasso throwing this wrench into the system, he kind of opened the floodgates to like people who are good salesmen who are like, I'm just going to bullshit my way up to yeah. the top. And they do. And it's kind of like fucked for anyone who's like, I still enjoy the, like the craftsmanship of painting. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Well, Cause you know, the thing with, I remember always hearing that like statistic, like with like someone like Picasso, they're like, Oh, he created like 80,000 pieces in his lifetime. I was like, well, if you count every fucking napkin you draw on, right. yeah, you've fucking done it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm, sh- I'm sure there's, I mean, 80,000 pieces. I might have done that in high school on the back of my fucking homework, really. Yeah, yeah, well, like the the girls that draw like, you know, you know, bumblebees and like flowers. It's like, okay, yeah. so you're, you're like 67 drawings into it. Yeah, it sounds big for someone who's not an artist. It's like, wow, you know, but mm-hmm. I mean... For an artist, it's like, okay, I mean, how many days do you live? Yeah. Okay, well, that's how many pieces I created, so. <laughs> yeah. It's par end, for the course, yeah. Well, because yeah. I've always, and I think, Josh, you're the same way. It's like, uh, it's it's like, I'd rather, I'd rather do, like, one killer piece than, like, seven, like, eh, that's kind of cool. Right. You yeah. know, like, some people, like, I mean, we're going to naturally talk about social media. It's like, <laughs> sometimes people, you know, fucking scribble something at dinner you know, on a, on a napkin, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, I got to post this on Instagram. Right. And it's like, like I try, you know, I post, you know, stupid stuff. I hate even talking in this language, but I post like stupid stuff. But I also want to post something where it's like of substance. Right. You know. <clears throat> yeah, I, I have this now. All my like Instagram stories. We're going into this world, <laughs> but I have these Instagram stories where they're deleted in like twenty four hours. I'm like, great, that's perfect for me because I doodle all the time, shitty things. I'll just post it on there, mm. and they're worth that twenty four hours. They're not worth anything more than that. <laughs> yeah, I've actually never done one of those because I've got this like, I've got this like. Right. Yep, yep. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, we're back. <laughs> I had no idea where we were at. A pee, beer, phone call. Yeah, break. <laughs> Something like that. Yep, yep. <clears throat> I don't know what we were talking about. It was probably something super important. People had to were on the edge of the table, just like waiting. Me. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah anyway. <laughs> I vaguely yeah. remember talking a lot of shit about art school, but other than that. I, that was my last memory. <laughs> yeah. I, I've got that goldfish <laughs> thing going right now. This is, I think this is our fifth episode, right? Yeah. And this is the fifth time we've talked about talk shit about art schools. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's, it's like a running theme. I've and I <laughs> half-heartedly defend it every time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you're just like, I want... Anyway. <laughs> yeah. You quiet over there. But sure. no, like <laughs> art, art schools, the thing is, is there's, what I realized is like, uh, it's actually, it's like, oh, it's, it's a business just like anything else. Right. It's like, we need so oh, many sure. kids. It's like, you know, there's, I mean, there's like anything else. There's athletes, you know, they're like, well, we need some new basketball, baseball players. And there's guys, they're going to like, okay, well, these guys are really good, but uh, we'll, we'll, I guess we'll take you as well because you're not as shitty as the other guys. <laughs> and but it's like with art school, it's like 
it's it's almost like anyone can get in. Yeah, pretty much. So if you're in art school, don't brag about it. I guess is what we're talking about. <laughs> well, the, the thing is, is like the the other thing that kills me, like about art school, is that uh, they don't want to put in the push-ups, as I call it. You know, mm-hmm. they don't want to put in the work. They're like, I remember they would do sketches. Like, okay, like for class next week, you need a sketch of blah blah whatever piece we're doing. And they literally, I swear, like they draw something like. Outside before class in five oh, minutes. Oh, for sure. Right. Yeah. You know. <laughs> well, that's I what guess. I was getting at before where people are like, if you do the bare minimum just to get through art school, you're not going to be a serious I'm, artist. I don't one know one thing I will say, though, is I just realized that you can't copy your friend's homework. <laughs> yeah. Which I definitely no, didn't know. Yeah. You, you cannot like, uh, I, I kind of like box that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Real quick, I'll flip it. They'll never know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so we'll move away from art school just because <laughs> I think us old guys have talked enough shit about that. Yeah. <laughs> we're like nowhere near art school and we're just like, fuck art school. <laughs> but I did want to talk a little bit about some shit that happened to you personally. Uh, it's kind of dark. Uh, uh, I, I think I know where we're going. <laughs> uh, you posted on your social media, I don't know how long ago this was, but you were in the hospital and it looked like you got pretty badly hurt. I got, I definitely got more than a splinter. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, uh, I was hanging out with a, a buddy of mine. This was December 3rd. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm like, where were you on the night of December 3rd? <laughs> it's like, so it was December 3rd. I was hanging out close to where I live in the upper Haight in San Francisco and I was meeting with a buddy real quick. He's a good friend of mine, but he's also my, you know, everyone needs that computer friend. Right. That's like, have you tried restarting your computer? Right. Yeah. You know, everyone yeah. everyone needs one of those guys. <laughs> That's my brother, Bailey, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Is the TV plugged in? Yeah. Um, they always make you feel stupid, too. They're like, oh, dude, try this. You're like... What is that? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I can draw crazy shit, but I can't, like, download a fucking file. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, but, so, like, meet up with this guy. So, I got a, a scanner, and this is the kind of stuff, this is, like, this is, like, the kind of shit artists get excited about. I got an 11 by 17 scanner, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm they're all, like, 9 by 12 or whatever. Right? I know, Most dude. Yeah. I would have to, like... Why is an 11 by 17 scanner so much more expensive than... I know. It's, I, I, I don't get... If you go to if you go to a shop, because I would always have to get, like, stuff scanned, so I'd, I'd, like, draw something really simple that I needed, and then I'd walk... It sounds like that, like, you know, I walked, like, you know, up to up in the snow and hills, like, you know, to get to school yeah. both ways. Right. So I would go, like, like the nearest place I could go was, like, a mile away. So I'd go there, scan something, come back, and it was, like, for something that, like, shouldn't be any big deal. Mm-hmm. So I get this scanner, and it's 11 by 17, and I'm just, like, you know, I'm, like, like the way, you know, that TV show, like, Sweet 16, the way they look at, like, getting a Bentley. Right. I looked at it. Like, I looked at that fucking 11 by 17 scanner. as like a Bentley on my 16th birthday. And I was so yeah. excited about it. And I was like... But but for the uh, artist that gets, like, the smaller scanner, they're just like, well, it's not 11 by 17. Oh, no, no. It's, 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 seriously, it's like... Because so, you can't, like... So 11 by 17, as, as nerd talk as this is, it's like, <laughs> if you do like a bigger piece, like an 18 by 24, right. you can actually scan two halves of it mm. and then like piece it together pretty easily. Yeah. yeah. And one of those little mm-hmm. small ones, it's like, it's like, it ends up turning into this like retarded puzzle that like never looks right. Yeah. It's, it's all ne- distorted on the edge. Never and lined yeah. up because it's got, it's in like a little, <laughs> it's like. It's, recessed and it's yeah, perfect exactly. except for the the most important part yeah <laughs> yeah so i was uh i was like oh i got this scanner like i was so scared i didn't even open the box i was like <laughs> i'm gonna open the box and like fuck it up so i was like <laughs> left it in the box and i'm like dancing around it like someone dances for like you know like trying to get r- rain for their crops or something <laughs> i'm like dancing around this thing dying to open it don't open it and then i meet up with my buddy he's like Oh, okay, like, let's have a drink, we'll talk about it, let me know what you got, and this and that, and we'll talk about it. I'm like, all right, cool. So I go there, and I meet up with him. I'm like, oh, this is the scanner I got, like, you know, here's, this is what it is, and he knows all this computer stuff, and I'm like, all right, cool. And he's, we agreed, it's like, okay, you can come by, he can come by tomorrow, so to speak, to, you know, hook it up. Mm -hmm. And 
um, to fast forward, it was actually a lot more complicated. I was like, there's no way in hell I could have hooked that thing up. I, I thought it was one of those things where it's like you plug it in, you're like, right. And you're like, oh, I'm scanning. It's yeah. Scanning. Like a USB port. <laughs> yeah. That's like, what oh. I would think. And it was nothing like that. And what? so. You had to hack into the mainframe. <laughs> That's what I always say to my brother whenever he, I'm like, so I'm assuming you have to hack into the mainframe and, <laughs> and bypass the, uh, <laughs> and I just make up some tech talk. <laughs> no, but, but yeah, before you know it, you're finding like celebrity nude photos. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, it's kind of like that, right? Yeah, but then you want, it's like Rod, Rodney Dangerfield. You're just like, ugh, but I so, can't unsee that. So I, oh God. <laughs> so I ended up like, he's like, oh, I'm at, you know, I'm over, Let's have a drink and, you know, we'll talk about it. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I go over, have a couple of beers with him. And I was like, all right, let's do this uh, tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon. He's like, all right, cool. I'll be there like one o'clock or something. I'm like, all right, perfect. So I leave and it's like, we're talking like 730 in the evening. Like it is mm-hmm. not late. I mean, I know no. it's getting darker earlier, but it's like people are still coming home, going to dinner. Right. And uh, so I leave like, you know, all happy go lucky. And I'm walking down the street, and, like, the last thing I remember is, like, saying goodbye to my friend, like, you know, hugging him and his wife. And like, all right, I'll see you tomorrow. Sounds great. Can't wait. You know, I'm skipping back because it's like, ooh, ooh going to have a scanner. Let me see <laughs> yeah. got, got my Bentley. So I, uh, <laughs> so I leave, and I'm walking down the street. And I'm, if anyone knows uh, San Francisco, I was on Hayton Schrader, and I'm walking back home. And hate's a pretty well known street. I mean, yeah, even if you're sure. not from San Francisco, hate Ashbury you, is like you know hate Central. Yeah, uh, you might know hate, and you it's pretty close to the Golden Gate Park. Just to give you guys a an idea of where you're at. I mean, there's people, tourists. Pl- yeah. There's a police station right there. There's people everywhere. Yeah, and uh, so I'm walking back, and it's like I don't remember anything. So I remember everything was black. Like I couldn't see anything. I was all blacked out. I'm like gurgling blood. And I heard a voice that said, like, uh, do you need help? And I don't know what happened, but I was like, yes. And then the next memory I have was, um, of course, I, I couldn't still. So couldn't. this is you leaving your house? I'm no, I'm leaving, like, the. I had a drink with my buddy, like, okay, we're going to do the scanner. So uh-huh. I'm going back home. I live. He lives on Hate Street, the buddy? or? Oh, no, no. He it was just kind of a, a pub that we go to. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So then I was walking home, which is, like, a five minute walk away. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's seven thirty. It's not late. Yeah. No. And I'm not toasty. I'm just kind of like, all right, I'm going to, I told him my, my buddy, I was like, oh, I have to go home. Uh, I've, I got to make dinner and I got some work to do. And he's like, okay, uh-huh. cool. I'll see you tomorrow. And I leave and you know, I, I, I'm probably, it's like three minutes later. Like I just left and I'm like on the sidewalk, like gurgling blood and stuff on the ground. Uh-huh. So I, I believe what happened was I was walking down the street and someone hit me in the back of the head with a skateboard. Holy shit. And then, you know, eight foot 11 or whatever I am, like falls forward. <laughs> yeah, eight foot straight 11. Straight on my face. Wow. So my face just explodes on the sidewalk. And uh, and then, so after that, like my next memory is I heard a voice that said, uh, you're in a CAT scan, don't move. Wow. Shit. And I was like, all right, I'm still... And you're like, did you take out my earring? <laughs> Dude, they took out my earrings, and I had to fucking buy new ones. Oh, like, oh, I had to buy really? two of them, yeah. <laughs> that shit cost me $12. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> and so, yeah, I actually didn't get my earrings back. If you learn anything from this podcast, $12 is a lot for an artist. Yeah, like, that, yeah. that's like two tall boys at a bar. Like, <laughs> yeah. that's a lot. So I, uh, I, and then my next memory is I wake up, and there's these... You know, there's two police officers and like three, uh, you know, doctors, nurses, what have you. And, uh, you know, the police start taking photos of me. Like, so they take photos of me. Like, there's nothing defensive. I was hit in the back of the head. I had a big lump. I ended up with uh, a l- huge lump on the back of my head, uh, a concussion, broken nose, Holy shit. facial fractures, uh, uh, Two black eyes, blood on the eye, puncture wounds, all the shit. So I think yeah. what happened was he hit me with a skateboard, and then when I'm down, completely fucking out of it, he hit me, I believe, in the side, like in my stomach, because I had like these real weird circular marks, which was kind mm-hmm. of like the same size as like a like the nuts and bolts on like a oh sure yeah on yeah. the trucks because yeah. like I I was I met with mm-hmm. a, a sergeant, he's like, you know, I showed him all the wounds, and he's like, oh, those look kind of 
suspicious or something. He's like, I've I've smashed a lot of people with batons. I was like, oh, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fucking good to know. Darker in information, yeah. He's like, oh, those are kind of resemble when I smash the shit out of people <laughs> with a fucking baton. I'm wow. like, okay. Dark. So I kind of like reverse engineered, I believe, how it happened. And uh, and then, so I wake up and there's these, uh, these you know, doctors and police officers and they start taking photos of me and I'm, you know, still kind of completely out of it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, so, you know, they're taking photos. They're like, this is what happened. This is what happened to you. You know, you got a concussion, this, that, the other thing. And I'm like, fucking great. All right. Fuck. And I kept saying, I was like, oh, I don't have, you know, another thing that most artists don't have is called a uh, health insurance. Hmm, I think I've heard of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's not, let's not go down that, that road. <laughs> but so no health insurance. It's like, you know, um, you know, sometimes you gotta just do what you gotta do. And yeah, I pulled out a tooth by myself once because I had no dental because I was a full-time artist at the time. How long ago was this? Oh, I saw that movie, Castaways. That was fucking <laughs> rad. You, did, you use a, did you use a ice skate? I tried to use a butter knife at first and just fucking do one of these. Jesus. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, wow. and then uh, that didn't work, and then I uh, used the old pair of pliers. Yeah. So, wow. Uh, I also got like an infection before I did that, and I, I uh, cut it oh, the cyst open myself, and then gargled uh, uh, peroxide for like three days. That's crazy. And uh, I'm still alive, so. No, I mean it kind of makes you. It's kind of like that Van Gogh ear thing, but different. Mm. It's yeah, kind of yeah. cool, you know, <laughs> yeah. gangster. <laughs> yeah, I should start prom- <laughs> painting pictures of me with like obvious tooth missing. <laughs> oh yeah, dude! You believe me, your, your followers will jump. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Artists are very DIY, so that makes sense. To me. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I, so I wake up and you know, like I see them. They take photos and everything. The police officers and I, uh, you know, then then they they end up taking off. You know, kind of like okay, we'll just sit here and like we'll let you just incubate and just fucking sit and let the money stack up. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then at an, another point, I end up kind of blacking back out, and I woke up. And no one's around. I'm in this room by myself, and I still kind of like the fuck happened. Mm-hmm. And so I had like a neck brace and all these like you know. I mean, I looked like you know Wolverine and Weapon X. I was like all these like <laughs> cords and shit. Yeah, yeah. If you guys want a better view of it, he posted a picture on his Instagram. So yeah, it's, check out Nate's looks Instagram. Gnarly. Yeah. Well, no, it's like it's like if you're gonna get fucked up, it's like you want to have proof of it. You yeah. Know? If you're gonna get attacked by a shark, you hope he bites more than your pinky. <laughs> oh, Be honest. Yeah. Did you fuck with the filters on Instagram to make yourself look worse? <laughs> I actually no. I it's all the all the the blood is just a filter. It's like a yeah yeah yeah. 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 But no, I uh, <laughs> so I woke up. I woke up at another point and I was like, no one's in the room. I'm like, fuck this. And I start ripping off the neck brace and I pull all the cords off like all crazy style. (laughs) And I'm in my boxers, you know? And, uh, um, so I start wandering like the hall completely like, like bumper bowling, like just Mm -hmm. going off the walls. And like some security guards look at me. I was like, well, how the fuck I get out of here? And he's looking at me like, uh, <laughs> that way. And then he's like pushing the red button, like, um, uh, help, help. Uh, we got this like giant Sasquatch, like wandering the fucking thing in his underwear. And so, and like, uh, shit, I might regret this, but it's like a lot of times when you like, <laughs> oh, fuck, when you, when you get fucked up like this, uh, you, you lose some body functions. So, <laughs> so, you, uh, like, but little, stuff uh, like yeah like like doo 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 stuff okay yeah, so yeah. yeah so we got some yeah. like doo doo in the mix we should we should have said girls plug your ears <laughs> you don't care if the guys hear it <laughs> oh my god I'm just like everyone's gonna be horrified <laughs> of me now uh, so I'm wandering around and then they corral me back into the room <sighs> and they're like uh, you shouldn't leave but we can't keep you here and I was like well fuck it I'm, you know, I'm screaming like I don't have health insurance like blah 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 like I'm freaked <laughs> out and uh I mean, the bill, like the way these bills come out, you can't even count that fast. If you're like, right. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that's basically how it racks yeah. up. And uh, so I was like, well, I'm fucking out of here. And they're like, okay, well, you can't leave like that. And so they hand me these like scrubs that like these like bright blue pants that are like six inches too short <laughs> and this tiny little red polo. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to put these on. And it was like in a moment like this. You don't give a shit. So right. I was just like, yeah. there's like a female officer. There's like female nurse. I just ripped my boxers down and like put on these little, you know, 
these little Oshkosh bagosh kind of fucking, <laughs> you know, scrubs and shit. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm fucking out of here. And they're like, oh, and here's a clear plastic bag of all of your, like, your possessions. Uh-huh. And uh, so I just got this clear plastic bag, which is like, it's kind of like those, like, remember, like, the years when ago. When you come out of prison kind of bags? <laughs> well, I didn't even have a bracelet. But no, you know when, you oh, remember yeah. years ago they had, like, that fad where it's like, a clear plastic backpack oh uh-huh. you know yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. Hey, here's all your shit you know like oh you do you sell weed it's like <laughs> no well i see it right there <laughs> you know yeah. so it's yeah. like i've got these like bloody clothes and I'm like did they steal everything they're like yeah they took everything i'm like ah fuck okay so at this point i don't have a wallet i don't have a mm. cell phone i don't have <laughs> anything so i'm like well i'm fucking out of here we're over at my studio right now and it's like the hospital is like right up the street that i went to mm. And, uh, thank you, Zuckerberg. And, uh, <laughs> so I was like, all right, I know where I'm at. I'm still kind of out of it and all that. And I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to fucking walk home. So I look like I just like got in a fight with Shaq and I'm like mm-hmm. walking home and people are like, seriously, to like, be fair. I feel like since you're eight foot 11, you'd beat the shit out of Shaq. So Shaq, look yeah, out. he's, he's old too now, you know? Yeah. Hey, I mean, young Shaq might be a fight, but oh yeah, yeah. Worse than if worse than if a shack the than if Shaq attacked you. Oh yeah, no, it was a, it was a definitely definitely a Shaq attack. <laughs> and so I'm like, all right, well, I'll just Kazam, <laughs> Kazam, man. <laughs> I just <laughs> wow, that was good. That's classic. <laughs> so I end up like, I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna walk home. And you know, I'm shoveling down the street. I look like you know my face. How far lo- are you from home at this point? So like the five miles, right? This is like five miles. Jeez. So I've got this. They didn't give you a bus pass or anything. I know, like in prison, they do that. They like, do seriously. Yeah, yeah, that's fucked up. No, they give you a bill, is what they do. <laughs> yeah. So I yeah. fucking leave and uh, I start walking back, and I probably made it about three miles or more, and then I ran into someone I knew, and they're like, "The fuck happened?" And they're like, "All right, I'm gonna get you on the on the train so I can go up and get closer to home." Right. And uh, so I was like, I don't have any money. They're like, get the fuck on the train. So I'm like sitting on the train. People are looking at me like I'm a leper. Like they like don't want to contact. They don't want to get what I've got. You know, like they're avoiding the shit out of me. Yeah. And so I I get off at the stop and I go back and I go back to, I have no concept of what time it is or anything like that. So I'm like, I don't know. I, I, I mean, believe it or not, I didn't even know. I think they asked me who the president was and I didn't even know that. But somehow like a... Like a stray dog that travels 20 miles back home. Like yeah. somehow I had that GPS in my head. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I go back and... I, I, well, maybe maybe you just didn't know the president because you just blocked that out. I mean, I don't know if... I can't... Oh, yeah, like you that. refused to acknowledge it. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's like well, the they, were, they were like close enough. All right, yeah. next. <laughs> no kidding. So I get back and I was like, at this point I didn't... I thought he he stole my keys as well for whatever reason because they're like oh he stole everything so i'm like okay well that's wallet cell phone and keys right yeah. so i'm like all right i'm gonna go back and i really mean like preface this was like i was not shit faced or anything i was not drunk i was just uh, i got attacked but i go back to the bar and like these people had just seen me like three hours before right and i walk in they didn't even recognize me they're like holy shit I walk in and I go in, sir, (laughs) sir. The um, exit's that way. (laughs) And even though I definitely stand out, like I went to the, uh, I went to the bathroom, like just directly to the bathroom and everyone looked at everyone like, oh God, we got to take care of this guy. We got to kick this guy out somehow. Right. And then I come back out of the bathroom and they're like, Nate. And I'm like, "Uh, I I need a drink. (laughs) And, um, they end up, uh, I ended up getting back home, and I was, it wasn't even that late. So I left at, like, 7.30. I was back there at, like, 10 o'clock. So I was there. I wasn't even at the hospital that long. Wow. And so I come back in, and these people had just seen me, like, totally cool and just walking straight. And now I look like fucking meatloaf. Mm. Not and, the singer, but the <laughs> actual <laughs> actual loaf <laughs> of yeah. meat. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, end up, a friend of mine ended up walking me back to my place because I live really close by, and... I, at this point, I still didn't think I had my keys, so I buzzed the the door. It's like ten thirty or something at night, mm. and my roommate is like, uh, "Hello," because you know he's not expecting like Chinese food or anything. Yeah, and uh, I was like, "Hey, it's Nate." So I go back up. He buzzes me, and I go up, and he opens the door, and he starts. He looks at my attire, which looks like fucking a joke, 
And he's like, oh, he's like making a joke, and then he sees my face, and he's like, whoa, shit. Yeah. Mm. So. Yeah, he thought you were wearing bo- uh, board shorts. What are those? Like, pre pants? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, meanwhile I look like that, that Cher movie mask. Like, I'm just like, what <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> you look like Rocky Dennis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you got it. Yeah. You know that one. <laughs> but I. So I end up, you know, going back, and it was, uh, uh, yeah, it was just, it was one of those things. Where it's like, you just got attacked and the crazy thing is like you know being a big guy and all this it's like yeah that was my first thought when i first thought i was like could they pick a bigger fucking person i got this little pickaxe oh there's yeah. a redwood tree i'm gonna fucking yeah. take out yeah. yeah but like if if that guy didn't knock me down on that like unexpectedly i would have i would have like hulk smashed him to that's, fucking pieces that's right? what i didn't yeah. get i'm like why would you pick a big person? Because if you fail, yeah. the easy then you lose. You're then you're out. really yeah. fucked. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if that like it was like a dink, and then it was like, <laughs> yeah, you know, just like, like what was that? <laughs> that <laughs> like, ah, that, 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 <laughs> that tickled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a yeah. pinky toe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Andre the Giant, that pinch. <laughs> but, but uh, it's. I think I uh, like talking to some of my friends. It was like, I've talked to multiple friends about it, and they're like the 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 breakdown is like it, was, it almost becomes like a personal fear because it's like if they can chop you down we're all fucked <laughs> you know so it's yeah, like everyone yeah, yeah. like they, they they show concern for me and then it immediately goes to themselves they're like oh, yeah, fuck. yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure that would make total sense i mean i'm still fearless because i'm another giant man but in not <laughs> hot ways but, <laughs> but but all you little fellas, oh my God. beware. Beware. <laughs> no, it's, it's, Why do you think I avoid conflict? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, holy fuck, man. That, did they ever find out who did it? That's intense. They they didn't find out who did it. It was like they didn't, it was at such an angle where they didn't get cameras. Can, can yeah, I come out with sure. a theory? I know this guy named Dutch. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, I know. <laughs> it's like it was somebody who knew you were talking shit about them in art school. It's like yeah. the next comic book. You're gonna have Dutch hit someone over the back of the head with a skateboard. It'll be perfect. No, I, I, I don't want to get into it because it's an ongoing investigation. Okay. <laughs> but I've, I've got just my gut feeling, suspicion of who it is. But that doesn't. You can't incarcerate someone on right, that. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. think it might be something personal, huh? No, I think it was a. Uh, he was just brazen. And then it's like, oh. so he, he, he takes my fucking wallet and all that stuff. And then, well, like, I had just been hanging out with my friends, like, f- three minutes ago. Now I'm, like, on the street, like, gargling blood and, you yeah. know, broken face and everything. And meanwhile, he goes to fucking McDonald's right there and gets, like, a Happy Meal. He's <laughs> like, oh, I earned this one. Fuck. <laughs> I'll get that double Big Mac. So I think everyone's probably wondering, how's the scanner? The scanner? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the scanner's amazing. <laughs> So you know what I did? <laughs> think that's like, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got beat up. Whatever. Well, how's the scanner? I think everyone's wondering. So that's the moral of the story. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, I could do 600 DPI, like no problem. <laughs> but you know what's crazy is like I. So I used to do this big thing to like go scan artwork, and you know it'd be like a round trip would be like. 45, 50 minutes right. to scan sometimes the dumbest little shit. You right. know, like, oh, I just need this one little drawing. Okay, there goes an hour. And I scanned something. I kid you not, the first time I scanned something, it took like two minutes. And I was like, I'm going to go to the bar. I'm going to have a drink. Because <laughs> like, I just like right. saved so much time in my life. I deserve it. It was like, yeah. oh my God, I push a button and I got it. Like, <laughs> so that means I could blow off an hour. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Remember, like, they'd have, like, those, what was it, those, like, almanacs or something? It'd mm-hmm. be, like, before the internet, I'm yeah. sure. Right. It's and like it'd be, like, PDS and shit. books. Yeah. I, think they call them, I think they call them books. Yeah, you can flip them, I think. <laughs> yeah. But it, it would or be, burn them. It would be one of those things where it's, like, okay, you've got this complete library except for, like, R, right. S, and, like, D. <laughs> yeah, you know? It's, yeah, like, yeah, fuck, yeah. you know? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, then you'll never know what, um... <laughs> I, I was gonna go. Uh, they have the, the D was they have the, yeah they have the one book at the end that's W X Y Z in the same yeah, book. Yeah, it's, like, all yeah, like, it's all like that thing. Yeah. But that, that was the guy that's like, hey, you're on deadline. It's like, okay, let's just mash the shit <laughs> yeah. together yeah, real yeah. quick. Plus, if I mean, you, how if much you, can we write about zebras anyway? Yeah. Yeah. Plus, if if you invented a word that starts with Z, you're an asshole. So, so you don't deserve a whole. What? I, I, well, I how love, much can you really write about Zimbabwe? <laughs> What, I, lo- I, lo- I love the old joke, like it's like a book, you know, it's like when you don't want to spoil it, like, so who did it? The zebra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, because it's like at the end of the book. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So, uh, so talking about zebras, I <laughs> this is a fucking, have you ever drawn a zebra? This is a solid <laughs> segue. You have fucking a lot of animals in your uh, yeah. I, I I honestly do want to know. Um, is that just you? Just have this weird connection? Because I was thinking, because I draw a lot of women, but I found that it was kind of better, easier to almost tell a story through them than through, like, uh, just because I can detach myself through it. And I was wondering, maybe so, like detachable penis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah exactly. You get me. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. But, but no, okay, so that's actually a really good question because I know, like, you know, a lot of artists get their their look you know it's like right. you know you draw these pretty women you know and i you know draw chimps and animals and we're know. attracted to whatever we're attracted to i'm not gonna judge you you better not <laughs> you're in my studio <laughs> don't judge me just because i'm naked doesn't mean you can judge me <laughs> but, uh, but no you know what you know the way it happened um what was actually really interesting and you guys will get a kick out of this is like uh so i had this this big two man show with Coro back nice. in the day and it was like it was at Minna and I was all like, you know, butterflies <laughs> right. so to speak. I was like, Oh shit, oh shit. So we each had a you know, this uh for those that don't know, there's this gallery in San Francisco, one eleven Minna, and it's got these two big rooms. Mm-hmm. And it's one of those things like when you're start doing art shows, you really want to get into Minna. Right. Yeah. You know? I was, it's kind yeah, of like it's like all right that way. Yeah, it's, it's like, good. okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah. And so I did this uh show and i had one room and then coro had the other room so i was doing all these pieces which is like you know fucked up like Mm -hmm. really like dark shit Mm -hmm. and i had this realization where i was like a lot of times people that don't necessarily understand art they think all you can do is like fucked up you know shit or like pretty women or whatever so i was like all right just to show people i can draw other things I did all these, like, cute, fucking cute animals. <laughs> so I have, like, these, like, giraffes necking. I've got, like, a fucking koala bear. I've got a frog, like a tree frog and all this stuff. <laughs> uh, you know, juxtaposed to all this, like, dark shit. Because right. they'd be like, oh, my God, it's so cute. And it's like, because they're going to look at this, like, fucked up dark shit and be like, yeah. oh, that's all he does. Like, To be so- honest, I did. that's the same exact reason I started painting women. I was painting like dark shit and a lot of men, and then I was like, I should probably learn how to paint women. I started painting women. I was like, oh, this is like so much funner and like not not Welcome like feeding, to my world, <laughs> not feeding the like darkness, you know. Dude, when I started drawing women, they had the fucking the manliest shoulders in the world. <laughs> they had like it was just like oh, I just draw it's like square jaws and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you're like oh, yeah, like, yeah. you're like oh, I have to actually get in touch with my like my soft side. But like yeah, animals. I think with animals is like. It's like people are like, oh, I don't like the way he drew the nose or like his, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, right. I mean, I can draw, I find drawing people, but I find it kind of, it's like drawing people, unless it's interesting, like a portrait or something. It's like, I just find it as like, oh, yeah, it's like a person or whatever. But right. I think with animals, it's like you detach yourself and you kind of, you know, it's, it's just something a little different. It's like, right. I just, it gets away from. You know, I could draw, like, something amazing, like, fucked up carnage, mm-hmm. and people are like, uh, you know, I like it, but that's, you know, too dark. Right. And another thing I realized, like, a friend of mine that, um, which I'll never forget, and this is actually word to the wise with artists, it's like, you can draw a lot of stuff that you want to draw, but this friend of mine, Duncan, he told me, he's like, he pulled me aside at that Minna show, and he's like, you know, I really like a lot of your stuff, but I can't hang it. You know, it's like really cool. It's well done, well executed, but it might be a little too grim. Mm. So it's like, I mean, it's like that stuff that like some people love and would prefer it's in a book as opposed to something that they're going to hang on the wall. Because right. if you're drawing some uh-huh. like people like ripped apart and all this cool shit, <laughs> yeah. like there's there's not always a lot of people that can hang that. So I was like, I took that to heart. Not like I didn't take that to heart in the way that I have to soften my art, but right. I actually realized like. As an artist, you still have to make a living, so it's like to see like you can draw fun, fucked up shit, but it's also like drawing stuff and painting stuff that's actually kind of more of a universal and not right. going to scare you know the the panties off a of grandma or whatever. Right. <clears throat> so when you picked animals, was it like you have this love for animals, or you just thought like people fucking love animals, or some people fuck animals? I don't. Yeah, I mean, 
I mean, but no, I think for me, it's, uh, I actually, I like animals, for the most part, I like animals more than people. Yeah, mm. yeah. There's a good chunk of people like that, including probably all, everyone, I, I don't know. All of uh, our listeners. I, yeah, <laughs> and me, and I mean, fuck, it's like, yeah, they're just kind of doing the thing. Well, it's I also- noticed you also paint a lot of like gentle giants, and I was like, I mean, knowing you as a giant, I'm like, I don't know if that is just him just like, like, just, I mean, first of all, I'm like big into like those big softy animals, you know, like elephants and rhinos. Oh, yeah. yeah. I fucking love them. Like, <laughs> yeah. my, oddly enough, my favorite animal is a, a polar bear because mm-hmm. everyone would think it would be a chimp. And I was right. like, polar bears, they're just kind of big in some ways. Obviously, they have to, you know, they can tear the shit out of a seal, Yeah, which is, you know, just a hot pocket to them. <laughs> but like i think the thing is with with animals uh, with like for me with polar bears is they're kind of they're kind of like off their own they're just a big kind of like everyone perceives them as scary but you see right. them, like they can be very docile very they're just trying to do their thing mm. yeah bears know? are kind of weird that way they'll like rip right. an asshole out of like an a seal yeah or something but then like once they're fed they're just like i'm just chilling well no he's cool you, you know you've seen those photos of like there's these like famous photos of like a polar bear like just playing with a sled dog right just like oh like you totally fucking eat the shit out of this yeah. thing. And he's just like hey you're a funny little thing yeah yeah bear, bears are pretty awesome <clears throat> uh i also wanted to mention i don't even know if you remember this or anything but uh i don't know like six or seven years ago me and my wife we had our first date and it was uh, she, at the time, it was our first date, and you know when you first start dating someone, they don't eat in front of you. I mean, I'll eat, but oh, yeah. she was like, she, I didn't see her eat for like a month. I think, <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, are you dying? Yeah. Uh, but our first date, it was on Hate Street, and we went into that bar. You know, remember Destructure, like next door to that? I don't remember that bar's name. Mad Dog in the Mad fog. Dog. I always know it's like Dog, but I can't remember the name. Yeah, yeah. Mad Dog. We went there because I had a show in Destruction. She was like, I was like, where do you want to go? She was like, I want to see the show. And I was like, I guess I'm, I want to like show myself off. Like, whatever. I guess I'm going to look at your artwork. <laughs> yeah. No, she wanted to see it. I was like, I don't want to like go and see my own show. I feel like an asshole for doing so. But then we went to Mad Dog. I was like, let's go get some drinks at Mad Dog. She still wasn't eating food, I guess, for a month or whatever. <clears throat> but, um. But yeah, then we stumbled in, and I saw you. I was like, "Hey, what's up, Nate?" And you're like, "Hey, what's up? Sit down, have some drinks." And we literally, our first date is me, you, and my wife. That sounds actually about right. Cause I was <laughs> actually, that was kind of. I would go there, and uh, I'd go there and hang out with friends, but I'd also go there to just, uh, you know, there's times where I'd like bring work there. Yeah, you were drawing outside. at the time. I think I'd sit in the back and draw like whatever stuff. And I, I do remember that. I remember, like, looking at your stuff and just being like, oh, shit, his women are actually pretty. <laughs> and I was just, like, yeah. reflecting on my drawings of women. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> they still have, like, too much testosterone. They're still, like, too, like, well, what's the uh, the Jenner? The, uh, you Transgender? Know, Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they, they still were a little, like, Caitlyn at the time. Wow. Well, no, was it Caitlyn? What's it? Oh, thank God I don't Are you talking remember. about? <laughs> Bruce Jenner? Yeah, 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 Caitlyn Jenner. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, but it was... And you did that, and, like, your colors were so bright and vibrant, and it was, like, I've, the thing is, like, the way I think we discussed uh, doing this podcast is, like, I wanted to make it be, like, a couple people hanging out. Right. Mm-hmm. And I think the way, I've had people come up to me that have been really cool, where it's, like, I'm all nervous, like, when I met Simon Bisley for the first time, I was, like, a huge fan, and, like, I remember. That's first, actually something I was curious about, your relationship to him now. Yeah, we, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go down that one. <laughs> Um, he, uh, oh, that's some good stories, but anyway, uh, it's like he was really cool with me and I've, I've come across people that I've admired that have been really cool yeah. with me. And I was like, would you say he's a big influence to you? Oh, he's a huge influence. Yeah. Like him, Frank Frazetta, like yeah. Travis Sheree, like lots of, you know, Mark oh, Sinestri, yeah, lots Travis of guys Charest. like, yeah. lots of guys like that. And, uh, so like hanging out with you, it's like, it's also like, you know, your, your art is you know, on par. So it's like, right. I, I mean, it, it's kind of the thing with a lot of artists. It's like, even if the style is completely different, yeah. if it's like, you look at the artwork and you're like, all right, maybe like not something I do, but it's like, mm-hmm. all right, that's legit. Yeah. Right? You know, and it's just a mutual respect, which I yeah. think a lot of people, especially yeah. in San Francisco have, it's like, you know, like 
like uh, you take someone like Jeremy Fish and Sam Flores, it's like not a style that I draw in, but it's like nothing but respect for those right. guys. And, yeah, for sure. And same thing happened with you. And it's also like I've had enough of those moments where it just becomes like two fucking high school buddies hanging out and right. like reconnecting every beer. And it was like, mm-hmm. I didn't know it was a first date because, like, I I, 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 hope, I hope I didn't do anything too vulgar. I mean, we're married well, now. We're married so, now, so, so it worked, so it worked yeah. out. <laughs> but yeah, I always think about that. I'm like, our first date, me, you, Nathan Dyke. You know how it always is. <laughs> oh, it's uh, just another day in the city. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, and and uh, she wasn't familiar with her work. She's an artist as well. Hmm. And she was. I was like, oh yeah, Nate. And then I think you were talking about like. Sorry, Burt Break. Uh, like, I think uh, Jay-Z at the time was dropping an album, and you did some artwork for him. Oh, yeah. And it was oh, like, shit. fuck, that's no, cool. No, I was, I was doing the – this is a funny story. Like, I <laughs> I don't um, – so I got, I got like, the offer to do, you know, through Def Jam to do Jay-Z's Grace Hit album cover, and I'm like, huh, well, that doesn't suck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. And so, I, so I started doing it, and they wanted all these portraits and stuff of Jay-Z, and – I think everyone knows Jay-Z and his music and, you know, what he looks his like. Facial features. Yeah, his yeah. facial features. And they're like, he's sensitive about his facial features. That's what they told you? Yeah. Huh. Really? So, like, big lips and big nose. I'm. It's nothing racist, I swear to God. It's just, he just has big lips and a big nose. Proportional. Hopefully everybody yeah. understands that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and so, I remember doing that, and I was just, like, nervous and excited. And I was like, I didn't. You know, a lot of times, you know, I, I freehand my stuff. Like, okay, right. I might look at something and draw it. But I was like, okay, I am not going to fuck with Jay-Z's <laughs> really? nose. It, this will look, this, if I just kind of, it'll look like one of those, like, Pure 39 caricatures. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, all right, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. So I literally, I, I blew, I blew up these photos that they gave me. And I did, like, a, a rough uh, tracing mm-hmm. of his features. Because I was like, I did not want to get, like, one pencil line for sure on any I mean, of that's that. understandable. <laughs> And, and then, and then, like the art director, he's like, "So his nose and lips look a little big," and I'm just like, "Well, um, I kind of traced him." Yeah, like, like, uh huh. <laughs> but should- yeah, yeah, I was working on that at the time, and then I was doing all this work for them. I ended up getting what a lot of people might not understand with a lot of artists and what we deal with is there there's something called a kill fee mm, so a yeah. lot of times you could be working on a project like this and they're like okay uh you know abandon ship and they give you just kind of like a you know a pat on the shoulder kind of price mm-hmm. right and like good try yeah mm-hmm. good good job kid mm-hmm. you know and uh so i ended up being a kill fee and they ended up doing artwork they did some they got some art director that did something like some filter stuff ended up looking exactly like what they were trying to get me to do and they probably had some guy do it before lunch you know mm, yeah uh, <laughs> was the, the, i don't know the, if you guys caught that but that was a big ass eye by name <laughs> like, like <sighs> what the fuck uh, yeah sorry i work with my hands kind of deal yeah i mean the artist struggle is real no they wanted like they wanted all these illustrations so they wanted like all these photos of him throughout the years and they're like, okay, we want all these periods. We want, like, here's a shot of the projects he grew up in. You know, draw the buildings, draw this, draw, like, you know, this signage. Because they wanted to, like, you know, mash it all together. And, again, like, talking as like as artists, it's like, how the fuck do I price this out? You know? Mm-hmm. It's like, you don't want to abuse it and be like, one million dollars. But <laughs> yeah. you also want to do something reasonable. But you also yeah. want to be like, well, you guys, like. You know, this is legit. This is going to be on, like, bus stops and shit. Yeah. Right. Bus stops. But um, <laughs> but it ended up, they're like, yeah, no. So I did a bunch of work. I've got a bunch of Jay-Z artwork. DM me. I've got it. Um, <laughs> but That's uh, crazy that they even chose you because Jay-Z is so, like, New York. He actually picked me, too. That's really? Cool. He picked wow. me. I forget, I, forget the, I forget the names, and I'm not going to try and fuck them up, but... There were like three artists, and he actually personally picked my artwork. And then I started smashing out all this artwork, and then they're like, "Yeah, no." And it's just like mm-hmm. they're they're legit pieces, mm-hmm. but it's also like a lot of artists. Well, a lot of people don't realize about a lot of artists. It's like you know, you see the stuff that like actually like like made it, like stuff that actually got used. Mm-hmm. But there's a shit ton of stuff that like 
it just goes, you know, into the universe. And goes right. into the dumpster. Yeah. Or the dumpster, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah. So no, it's so, so, so yeah, it's like I mean, you, no, it's like look all these illustrations of Jay Z. It's like it's like okay, mm-hmm. I got Jay Z illustrations. Yeah. So it's cool, but it's like got you got DVD extras. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you gotta you gotta kind of like just you gotta keep you know throwing darts and hope some of them stick. Right. right. For sure. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I don't. That's I know. the nature of illustration, really. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, you don't just like, you know, I mean, I've known artists much more acclaimed, you know, that have like, you see their portfolio and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then they show you the stuff that didn't get used and it's like, holy shit, like a whole different portfolio. (laughs) Yeah. And then a lot of times uh, what artists, like a lot of times it it becomes this like cease and desist where it's like, yeah, you can't show it. You're right. You know, it's just like. You know, yeah, like we hired you to do a job, and now we canceled it. So if you use it, you're sued. I, I, I mm. remember I did. I remember I did some uh, uh, years ago. I did some storyboards at uh, the Google campus, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Oh, okay, cool." You know, this is like your rate, whatever. Like, you okay. should, before you continue with the story, you should watch out because. I'm pretty sure they could laser beam you right now. Oh, dude, I I'm sure so close to the they're Google gonna campus. shut this shit down. <laughs> <laughs> but like. One of the the things was like that they said was like oh and by the way you can't put us on your resume Oof, and what? it's just like oh, son of a bitch yeah. it's like it, and you you sign some paper that you you know some legalese that you can't even understand right and it's like and by the way you never touched me there you know what you should do you should put it on your resume and I've never worked with Google and then put like a wink face emoji. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, you know what I mean. I've never worked with them, you know, but you know what I mean. Yeah, that, that little like, yeah, little, little like a gif of a of yeah. some guy winking. Yeah, yeah. That's how you get. That's how you get the fucking work. You just, and then all of a sudden you get addicted to that, and then you just start putting with everything. I've I've uh, never worked with. And then you start lying. Oh, you, uh, yeah. I've, Long story short, you're fucking Picasso in a year. I fucking I like that. I'm gonna actually start using that. I've never worked with these companies, <laughs> <laughs> and then just like name Wait, everybody. <laughs> yeah, anyone credible? Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's genius. Yeah, I didn't create. I didn't create the Avatar movies. Wink. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I, th- I think I'm gonna use that. <laughs> Uh, is this so is this is this like if if we say this now is it like uh we, is it uh, like uh in uh what is it when you when you uh admit to a crime when you go, wait, wait, it's kind of like self incriminating yeah it's there like, we go we worked it yeah. out <laughs> sorry guys we're we're a little slower now that we're uh <laughs> yeah. we've got a couple more paps in us sponsored yeah. by p b r yeah yeah i mean uh i don't know if you want to talk about that at all, but you did design i mean not only do you drink your your worth in in paps, so yeah. but they've also paid you. I'm assuming. Well, to, they uh, they it was it was it's one of those things. Like I've done, um, so the I did some artwork for them. I've I've done artwork for them, and it was um, it was like a can design. Right. It was like okay, design the can and like you know hope you get picked like some county fair shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Blue ribbon. Yeah. But exactly. So I, I, I did can design. And it, <laughs> the thing is, with a lot of these things, it's like you you kind of take you take a little bit of a risk, and like you know, you do stuff that you know you're gonna like make money on, like pay mm-hmm. rent or like a commission or whatever. Right. But every once in a while, you have to like just throw caution to the wind and be like, all right, well, if it goes nowhere, no big deal. If it goes somewhere, awesome. Right. So I did some artwork for it for them, and I didn't end up getting the winning design which is like all right you know you know spilled milk mm-hmm. and uh and then i'm like just looking at instagram oh, i hate that fucking language but i was looking at instagram and someone posted a photo somewhere from uh massachusetts and they just like posted this sign and it has to be like you know four feet by six feet it's mm-hmm. like this yeah. final it sign pretty big yeah it looked because i i i'm I'm no forensics guy, but it was like I saw bricks behind it. I was like, okay, yeah. bricks are pretty big. So I was like, yeah. I was kind of doing my like fake math. Right. I was like, oh, that's it's pretty big. Tall, yeah. Your bro math. If it's like bro math, bro it's, it's, it's like ten bricks wide and like you know six bricks high or whatever. Right. And uh, I, I actually thought about measuring it, but I didn't. But anyway, so they got 
it's like in the contract, it was one of those things where it's like, basically, uh, you give up all your rights oh, to the artwork. Oh, that's brutal. So, but Damn. I didn't, I would never have known that that artwork got turned into like a sign if like uh, someone in Massachusetts didn't just think like they needed some Instagram likes and like take a photo of it. Right. But you know what's crazy is like the thing about that, aside from it being cool and I actually love drink PBR and all that stuff. Yeah. The thing about it is like I want it to be, I want that sign, like I still have to get it. Hello PBR. But I still want to get the, I want to get the sign because I want it to turn into one of those things where it's like Coca-Cola, 10 cents. Right. You know, so it actually gets dated by the price. Right. You know, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. And on the side note, PBR, I think even though he used his artwork, you should send him. I mean, it is his birthday tomorrow. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so, a genuine I mean, PBR if, being if popped if open. He op- like if he checks his mail and there's a, I don't know, a lot. I don't know what a lot is, but more than whatever you're thinking is a lot plus ten more beers. That shows up in his uh, mailbox. Well, like I want it. It's the thing is is like the the sign was big enough, and we're hanging out in my studio right now doing this this podcast, and it's like I if you guys look around, like obviously this is Radio Land, not you know not anything else but uh um, yeah. i actually i mean plus s- we'd have to censor our naked pieces oh, well you got the sock on <clears throat> yeah. But, yeah but the thing is is like that that kind of shit is like man cave gold yeah for you know? sure yeah <laughs> which already we're already in this man cave <laughs> i mean uh yeah, yeah. I, I mean we don't I, have tons of listeners but if we sell one can of pbr for you then yeah. you owe us yeah, their stocks are gonna go up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, this studio, by the way, I wanted to talk about it a little bit because it's fucking awesome. Yeah, I know you were talking about it on the way here. The uh, short history, I would say, um, of our era of artist, you know, especially Bay Area artists. There's a good amount of respectable people that have, uh, you know, put their footprint in here. Um, and now, I mean, you've been in here for how long? I'm coming up on four years. Nice. And uh, I've never worked in a studio. I'm always like in my garage just working things this, out. This is the first off-site studio I've ever had. I mean, I've got a basic setup, drafting table, scanner, 11 by 17. <laughs> I've got that basic stuff at home, but like if I want to really play with the bells and whistles, like I come here, but I've never had an off-site studio. So it's kind of like I feel like a... Arrested Development, like, oh my god, I'm an adult. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, you, literally, I get inspired by, like, like a splatter of paint on the street. I'm like, oh shit, that looks like something cool. I can mm-hmm. turn it into a drawing. Or I'm inspired by, like, some rust, like, some right. really cool rust or whatever. Like, it sounds real arty-farty. Mm-hmm. But, like, sometimes, obviously, you're inspired. You go to an art show or you, you know, look at some artists that you like. Right. Or we, we go to each other's art shows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and sometimes it's like, it's like a, you know, you come up with a funny idea of like from a fart joke or something like right. that. Yeah. 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 Or you just hang out with the artist friends and you guys talk and, and you guys are having a good time and you well, might be. And, and that's what I love. Yeah. Is like the fact that like, you know, we all have our own, like I was saying, like different styles of art. But what's really cool is like, you know, I, I don't draw like a uh, Jeremy Fish, but I totally respect his artwork. Right. And it's like, all right, you know, for me, I'm like, oh, I want, you know, this is what I want in my artwork, but like what I love and I think it's somewhat universal, but I think I see a lot in San Francisco is that everyone is like, we're all friends, even though we're completely different. It's like, everyone's a cheerleader for everyone else, mm-hmm. you know? And I see yeah. a lot of that. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not really big friends with Jeremy fish, but I remember this one time cause I, I like his work and my sister, she like loves his work. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Oh look, Jeremy fish. And she was like, Oh my God. I was like, go say hi to him. And she was like, no. And I was like, hey, Jeremy. He, was, he turned around. I'm like, hey, man, I, I love your work. And I was like, and she's a huge fan. And, uh, you know, and Jeremy, like, s- sat there and talked and, with her. And it was mm-hmm. like, it's like, this is so weird. It's like, yeah, but we're we're talented people, but we're we're also just normal human beings. We all wipe our asses. Yeah, up, exactly. Yeah. And not only that, but we're not like celebrities to the point where it's like, you see, like Jeremy fish isn't being paparazzi, you know? Like, no, I mean, I, I, he appreciates the feedback. It's like, he's definitely, he's, he's 
you know, I've known that guy for years. He's really sweet and really approachable and easy to talk to at shows and stuff like that. But it's like, it's a, uh, I remember one time I was hanging out with a friend of mine, this, this girl, Julianne Brown, and she was doing this book. She just got a bug up her butt and she's like, I'm going to do this book. Mm-hmm. And the book was like, uh, she, you know, independently published it and everything. And it was, she was doing a beard book, beard book. Like facial hair. Okay. Yeah. And so we're hanging out. We're down like at Mad Dog, like down by old Destructor. And I'm walking around and I was like, oh, there's Jeremy Fish. And she's like, and he, you know, Jeremy Fish has like got the beard on tap. Yeah, you know, yeah. He's, fucking, he's got that thing locked down. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's Jeremy Fish. And she's like, oh my God. And I was like, oh, he'd be perfect for your beard book. And she's like, well, I, I, I uh, hey, Jeremy. And I just like called him over. I was like, hey, so she's uh, doing this book where she takes photos of people's with beards and right. she likes her stuff and he's like okay so he took, <laughs> she took a photo of him for his her beard book right. you know but it's like the thing i love about artists is like you know another thing i'd love to talk about is like you know influences and stuff like that like we were talking about simon bisley earlier mm-hmm. right yeah huge influence and now like a good friend of mine yeah that's awesome that he's a good friend of yours now yeah and it's, you still kind of pinch yourself you know but <laughs> right. The, right. the thing is is i remember like when you first meet, when I first met him, I was all nervous. <laughs> the very first time I met him, we were it was at a convention, and he had someone had given him a a Guinness, like a you know they got the little ball in it. And yeah, all that yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, the uh-huh. nitro ones. Yeah, I've always yeah. I remember like like a real beer drinker has cut apart a, a Guinness to see what the fuck that ball looks like. Because <laughs> right. I know I've done that shit. Fuck, yeah. I've never done it. Oh, dude, but I drink a shit ton of beer. Is it's it like a, a little metal marble feel, or something? It's like a little plastic white ball kind oh, of thing. Oh, it is. Huh. Huh. Maybe I have done it. I don't know. Okay, but anyway. So Maybe I was blacked out. <laughs> I remember the first time I, I met Simon at a convention. It was in San Diego. I was all flustered and excited. And I was like, was oh my God. Comic Con? Yeah, it was okay. Comic Con years yeah. ago. <laughs> and I see Simon. Or it was crazy as fuck. I'm all excited. Oh my God, the the, the Bisley stories. And uh, I see him, and someone give him, gave him a, you know, a Guinness, like as like a, a peace offering or something. Right. Yeah. And I walked up, thank God it wasn't open yet. I walked up, and I like fumbled like a, you know, excited little 14 year old girl. <laughs> and I knocked Which it what over. You were at the time. <laughs> yes, I was. Yeah. I was like, hello, Simon. <laughs> 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 let's go play my tree for it <laughs> but uh let's play doctor so um i knocked the beer over and i was like mortified you know when like you know when shit slows down right. in your mind and you're like no. <laughs> and luckily it and wasn't you didn't even have to drop your voice at all right. no. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. luckily yeah. it wasn't open but and then i started to realize like i started hanging out with him and uh, by the end of the convention, I was like, okay, Simon, I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, come over here. And he was, he's, you know, busy signing breasts and stuff like that. <laughs> right. And I'm just yeah. like, okay. Chicken breast. Yeah. And I come over and I'm just like, come over. And he's like, oh, let me give you, you know, my phone number and address and let's mm-hmm. keep in touch and all this shit. Awesome. And I'm like, all right. Uh, okay. Because <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what's cool about a lot of artists is like, I think. And regardless of Simon, is you get to a point where it's like the people that you looked up to and you learned from, right. just even from afar, all of a sudden you've got this common language. Yeah. And then before you know it, it's like, you know, here we are hanging out, you know, some years later. And yeah. it's like, you, it's like, even if it's not necessarily your style, you're like, I fucking respect that guy. That guy's legit. We're yeah. cool. And you speak this common language. Yeah. Like, you become sp- colleagues or something. Yeah, yeah, it's like I speak English and art and knees. <laughs> yeah, know, like, yeah, exactly. And uh, <laughs> so we ended up becoming friends. And I remember this one point when I was working at Shaba, the video game company. Mm-hmm. Who's this guy I looked up to for years? This guy, Simon. Yeah. And I was just like all enamored, like try and play it cool, you know, like, oh, I got, I got, uh, you know, my Metallica shirt on, I'm cool, right? right. All this shit. <laughs> yeah. I remember one time I was sitting at work and I get this phone call and I'm like, all right, that's weird. And I answer it. He's like, hey, it's Simon. What are you up to? <laughs> and I like deserted my desk for like an <laughs> hour. <laughs> yeah. I went in this like soundproof room where they were doing like the, the audio and stuff for video games. I was in there for an hour. Meanwhile, being paid to like talk to Simon. Right. And he was just like, hey, I haven't talked to you for a little while. I just want to see how you're doing. You know, I was just 
giving a phone call. And it's like, like hanging out, like meeting someone like that, like someone you looked up to. Right. And then they kind of allow you into their world. Right. And, uh, and then not only that, the guy fucking calls you and is just like, wants to shoot the shit for an hour to right. see how you're doing. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, so I think that's one of the really cool things about art is that, you know, it's a There's, solid community. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. It really is. Cause like all of a sudden it's like, regardless of style, like it's kind of like, it's kind of like you get this check, like, okay, your portfolio is like, all right, you're legit. You can, you, you know, welcome, welcome, welcome to the jungle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Know? And I, I have this conversation a lot with my wife where I'll say like, Oh, like I really like this person's artwork. And she's like, they're not that good. And I'm like, yeah, but I, I feel like I could see something like in like four years from now, they're going to be dope. Mm. Like they're going to be really good. Dude. It's like the original Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Oh, yeah. this, what's this dumb Chuck E. Cheese shit? You're exactly. like, Oh, like, uh, yeah, it's like, <clears throat> it's like, yeah, exactly. Like I could read a stock except for it's not a stock. It's yeah. just like the potential of an artist. Like, Oh, I think they're going to be awesome. Like yeah. three years. Cause you could see, um, you can almost see yourself in them. You know, like yeah. you can see like, Oh, I remember when I was at mm -hmm. that point. So I'm assuming they're going to get mm -hmm. to this point yeah. where I'm at now. And, mm -hmm. and I always wonder that with like artists that are older than me, like, mm -hmm. like what they're thinking of is like my art, like, uh, whatever, you know, <clears throat> it's, well, it's that's actually kind of how I feel about Daniel Segro. I mean, I already like his work a lot right now, but I feel like in ten years from now, he's going to be doing amazing shit mm. too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and 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 I mean, he's already talented, right? Exactly. I'm talking yeah. about like artists I don't think are that great. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm just uh, saying. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> shout out to Daniel Segro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's it, there is and there is this weird like community that we have. Where everyone either knows the person, like uh, everyone knows each other, or they know someone that knows someone, or you've talked with them, you know, maybe not enough to consider yourselves friends or whatever, but you, everyone's kind of, oh, God, sorry, burp break again. Everyone's sure. open to, um, to, uh, conversate. So yeah. as, as long as you can see, like, the passion, I think, is the well, main you thing. Well, you know, like, the, the the way I equate it, and this is like a a bit of a stretch, but it's actually not. It's like if you look at someone like you know, you you, you take a Kobe Bryant right and he's he's a young gun, he's growing up and he's he's looking at Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. And then he's fucking playing against Michael Jordan. Right. You yeah. know, so it's like these things that's like it comes to fruition where all of a sudden you're like, you know, I'm you know, looked up to Bisley when I was a kid, all this mm -hmm. stuff. I befriend him. I become friends with him. Yeah. And then I'm sitting around hanging out, drinking and drawing and like joking around and, and like dunking on his ass. <laughs> but that's you're so only, only cause you're 8, 11. So I'm <laughs> yeah. Like, no, <laughs> thanks for remembering. My <laughs> but it's, it's that kind of cool. Like the thing is like a lot of, aside from the actual financial payoff of doing art, if you're fortunate enough to make money doing art. Yeah. It's the community. It's the friendship. Yeah. It's like, it's so fucking cool. It's like walking yeah, around, really like is. walking around, just being like, oh, yeah. blah, blah, blah. You know, there's Josh. There's, yeah. you know, it's like, like, oh, there's Jeremy, whatever. Yeah. There's Sam. I just bumped into Sam the other day. It's like yeah. randomly walking home. It's right. like, it's, and before you realize it, you're like, oh my God, I've known that guy like <laughs> yeah. 15 years. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I know we say this every podcast, but this podcast is actually a really good way for us to keep in touch with a lot of yeah, artists that, we that like. was kind of the whole idea is like we have these weird conversations with artists and we hang out with artists and was like kind of giving everyone the backstage pass to be like right you get to like see w the artist community we live in and, and that's right. what i love enjoy. about this that's what i love about this it's like if you know even though this is purely audio and not visual it's like here we are sitting in my studio it's you like, wouldn't want to see us naked <laughs> trust no, us well, no, believe me trust me <laughs> <laughs> yeah but, but no, i don't want to see me naked but I want, <laughs> you don't have any mirrors in the house <laughs> none <laughs> <laughs> but no I, this is the kind of thing i love is like where it's not it's not talking about like hey what kind of pen do you use what kind of paper do you right. use it's, <laughs> it's like this kind of real stuff the real right. the real talk where it's like there could be some talk about technique, but it's also like right. this is actually, I think, what's more valuable like, yeah. to up and coming artists is so. to this community kind of stuff. Yeah, and and if you, if you're wondering that stuff, the I, the fact that you like if you're an up and coming artist and you're wondering like what pen does he use, what thing does he use, like 
that's one of the things I love is that I am like a fucking detective when it comes to that shit. Just because right. I'm not going to ask you unless I really can't figure it out. Yeah. But I'll I'll try to like figure out every like I'll go and research like pens and like do all this research oh, just yeah. to figure it out because and and once you have that skill of like being able to crack the case of what other artists use that's just a part of being an artist is problem solving that's kind of what no, an artist it is. is i mean like especially yeah. like for myself having not gone to art school it's like i'm self taught i mean we're taught yeah. we're taught by looking at each other's artwork but mm-hmm. yeah. for the most part it's like i have no fucking idea how to mix paint oh, yeah, same with me i'm I mean, going to make this like it's like oh i'm going to i'm going to paint uh, the, okay i'm going to push out i don't think they do this anymore but like flesh colored paint it's like oh that because people are pink you know it's like (laughs) complete bullshit Mm -hmm. but i think a lot of it is like the beauty of art in one of those ways that you actually kind of create more of your own style is to literally fuck up a lot yeah and pretty much trial and error exactly and so yeah so then the value comes i mean you're gonna figure it out at the end like as an artist you're gonna figure out what the fuck you want to do but the value is like the community that you get to hang out with. Oh, it's it's actually it's it's bar none. It's yeah. like the one thing's I it's it's not exactly the same as it used to be in the Bay Area because it's gotten a lot more tech. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, is like I remember going to art shows where like these it was like a mini high school reunion. Right. You would see it, mm-hmm. it was like okay, so I just saw like twenty of my friends, and mm-hmm. now I can go hibernate and go back to drawing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I mean the artists left her, all the survivors and the people that didn't, that weren't quitters like other bitches that just left. Them. Yeah, but a lot of a lot of guys are leaving, and um, you know you got like some of the guys that I was kind of around a lot. You know, like some of the guys that are left is like, you know, we got you know Sam Flores like bounced for a while. He's back in the city doing a lot of murals, doing some killer stuff. Mm-hmm. You got Jeremy is still kind of still sticking it out you got yeah. you got mars one yeah. uh you know but a lot of these guys have just left it does yeah. kind of suck that we have to call it sticking it out you know yeah <laughs> oh i know it, it's just tough because the dot com is is like a weird struggle that you have to live with uh, you know because it's this very unique bubble that everyone in the bay area lives around with but mm-hmm. but people outside don't understand like and when that came, it came with a fury that wasn't friendly to artists. No, it, it really wasn't. I mean, they yeah. used to be, uh, I mean, we're in a studio that like doesn't even exist these days in San, yeah. San Francisco. So, right. But it's like a lot of, uh, I hate the sticking out, but it's it's the nature of it. It's the truth of it. Yeah, it's yeah like, it is. You know, a lot of us, um, it's and, hard, hard enough to make a living as an artist, let alone in San Francisco. And, mm-hmm. it, and it sucks because the dot-comers are the... They they have this persona or whatever of being these like we like handmade stuff we like the fucking finest of foods and it's like when is that gonna peel off and become part of the art world Oh my god dude I go to these uh, so I I come to the studio like I'll I'll be walking with a buddy of mine and uh, there's this certain um, restaurant that they do like a brunch right mm-hmm. and we walk and we'll be like all right so we're along the way it's like all right how how deep do you think the line is and the line is like 60 fucking people deep right. for uh, for getting some breakfast food yeah. Yeah. and it's like fucking do you really brunch. like you're going to yeah you're going to wait 2 years you're going to wait 2 hours for a croissant yeah, yeah it must be a good you know? fucking croissant meanwhile they're like why does that drawing cost a 100 dollars i don't know yeah, about that i don't know it's the cuz your eggs benedict cost 30 dollars <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly exactly yeah yeah i mean it is what it is uh, oh. Do you have any uh, more random questions? No, man. I, speaking of uh, meeting people we admire, I'm glad that we were able to hang out and uh, get to know you better. Yeah, no, so. I'm actually I'm really glad how this worked out. Like, uh, you know, I mean, you guys have to leave in a minute, but <laughs> uh, I'm gonna kick you out, and yeah. security's gonna follow you guys. <laughs> could but, we could we get our pants back? <laughs> yeah, no, you could. You, yeah, the socks are free. <laughs> but no, it's it's. This is, the, I think, something that what I love about the way we discussed this and just how this conversation has gone is that I, I'm sure there's people out there that are freaking out, like, you didn't tell me what fucking pen he uses right. and yeah. all that shit, Bick. but it's like, it like the real 
the way the real what's really fun and makes art actually invigorating is conversations like these. Yeah. It's not like, Fuck you yeah, know, yeah. it's not like what happens if you mix this color <laughs> and that color. Yeah. You're like, uh, come up with a different color. <laughs> but no, it I, like, this is the kind of stuff I love. Like, this is the kind of stuff that is like, this is the kind of stuff that's fun about being an artist is having these relationships and these kind of conversations. And it's not some fucking, you know, breakdown, like, you know, you're driving a fire truck and you got to pull these buttons and that button. It's like, just draw. If I could tell any of you guys out there like that admire my work or hate my work or whatever it may be, or look up to me, it's like, just do you, yeah. you know, it's Boo-boo. like, yeah, there's, there's no fucking two plus two equals four. It's no. like, yeah. you know, yeah, you don't want to copy anyone. You want to be yourself. Mm-hmm. No, I, I've always said if like, so I've been influenced by a lot of artists as have, we all have but the thing is i see artists that literally duplicate other people's work because it's yeah. like oh i like that person's work you know nothing's coming to mind it doesn't even matter i'm not trying to call anyone out but it's so uh, you know who you are you you know you know <laughs> but the thing is is like the thing with art that makes art fucking rad and makes it progress and makes future generations of people they're excited about art is you can be influenced by people but just bring something new to it. Like, exactly. Just bring yeah. something new to the game. Don't fucking like, oh, he did it this way, so I'm going to do it that way. Like, do right. it somewhere yeah. fresh way. Like, you can take some of our techniques and, like, you know, our styles and our looks, but just add something to it that yeah. we would never have added. Right, exactly. There is something great about seeing artwork that you can instantly say, oh, look, that's blah, blah, blah's work. Yeah, exactly. And why the fuck would you want someone to say, oh, that's blah, blah's work, and you're like, Actually, that's my work. Actually, that's, you know, and that, that, that blows my mind. It's like, I know artists where it's like, if it weren't for such and such artist, their art literally wouldn't exist. Yeah. And it's like, I understand being influenced and especially I give leeway with when the, when you're younger, cause you fucking, you're a sponge yeah. and yeah, you, for know, sure. you, you, you replicate, you know, emulate a lot of other artists. Yeah. But just like, if you really like the way this guy draws flowers, draw it that way but just add something to it yeah and my biggest like influence was uh barry mcgee you know twist oh of course yeah that's like the only, that's like the main reason i probably do art was because when i was in like elementary school my brother did graffiti and he like pulled he like showed me a shit and i was like wow but you could not look at my artwork and say like oh he's a barry mcgee copy exactly you know one of the things i love about your work is Aside from it being flawless, not flawless. But all right, well, it's with, <laughs> with flaws. <laughs> yeah. But the thing Fawful. is, is you do. It's what I love about art is, it's fun when you do something somewhat direct, where it's like, oh, you know, I like Popeye. I am what I am. Right. But you know what's really interesting is when you create a dialogue. So you've got like, you'll do this like Josh will do this like very pretty woman. And she's, it's like a bird cage and she's got I do arrows pretty women in her. too. Right. Oh, <laughs> you're not excluded from this. <laughs> but what I love is like art that creates a dialogue. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, I think we're fucking, this is the third time I've tried to end it. We're not fucking. Ended. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even though we're we naked, we're not fucking. Yeah. We will be. After this ends, it's yeah. going to get dark. <laughs> on, that, on that note. <laughs> yeah. 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 On that note. We did it. Um, well, That's quite the way to end. So, the did you want to promote any uh, social media? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I am uh, Instagram the l- number six nine six nine n eight. I hate saying this. <laughs> six nine n eight Van Dyke at Instagram. If you and, type in n and eight, it most likely will show up. Yeah, there's like an eyeball <laughs> or something. But yeah. it's like. I've I've had friends that are like it's really creepy when I look you up because it's like they think it's like the sexual thing. I was like, uh-huh. no, I actually was on Instagram late. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna get the N8 Van Dyke, and like I had been hashtagged enough where it was like I actually couldn't get it. So, so I was like a six nine eight Van Dyke, and they're like that just seems. I was like, yeah. ah, fuck. So that uh, N8 uh, Van Dyke Facebook dot com. You might be able to get that if you tell them you're verified or get verified. It, well, you, I don't think I don't think N eight is on my birth certificate. Yeah, but if you say like that's my persona, you know, yeah, yeah, might be able to. Get, well, mm. yeah, you guys, uh, Nate Van Dyke, we'll put him on our fucking uh, Instagram. Yeah, for sure. 
so you guys can just if you have trouble finding them, you'll you find them through our pages. Uh, but yeah, thanks, Nate, for doing this. Thank you for oh, having me. I'm, awesome. I'm so glad you guys could uh, come into my dojo and uh, do this. Yeah, oh, it's an I'm honor. Be a black belt pretty soon, but uh, I'll only be wearing a belt in a sock. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get pretty. I'll have one sock. Yeah. yeah. So you guys have a good day, and if you're still listening, fuck, fuck off. off. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs>